Comprehensive retirement planning is more than just investment recommendations. It's helping clients file for Social Security in a way that best fits their situation. It's changing from employer coverage to individual or Medicare plans. It also includes enhanced planning with a will, a trust, powers of attorney to protect your legacy. At Latour, we look at the whole picture to help our clients meet their income needs, risk tolerances, accessibility needs, and to keep taxes as low as possible. Call Latour today. We can help. Best radio in the Ozarks. Cause AM and FM. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's the third Friday in September. It's warmer than usual, and we got a hot game for you tonight. It's the Liberty Eagles in town to take on your Ava Bears, their third home game in a row. You're listening to Cons Radio, best radio in the Ozarks, and also watching live on TDH Media. Hi, folks. This is Jay Loveland of Jay Loveland Auto Sales, and I'd like to invite you all to our new setup in Mountain Grove. We have a great inventory of affordable cars, trucks, and SUVs conveniently located right next to Walmart and Burger King. Find us also online at jaylovelandautosales.com or 417-349-4444. And remember, at Jay Loveland Auto Sales, we always do the right thing. Here at United Country Area Land Realty, we understand the desire to live in the Ozarks. Locals are wanting to buy new property, and people from all over the country are wanting to experience what Missouri has to offer. We have years of experience selling land, houses, farms, and commercial properties. Give us a call today at 417-683-2840. That's United Country Area Land Realty, 417-683-2840. Looking for a checking account that pays back? Home Pride Bank offers Casasa Cash, a checking account that earns an impressive 5.25% APY. Our free checking account comes with no minimum balance, no maintenance fees, and nationwide ATM fee refunds. This account pays you back and saves you cash. Call 855-4HP-BANK or stop by Home Pride Bank to get started today. Restrictions apply. Visit homepridebank.com for details. Member FDIC. Saying goodbye to a loved one, you wanted to be special, wrapped in care and provide comfort to those who remain. I'm Tony Clinking Bear Van Dyne, and at Clinking Bear Funeral Home, we've been helping those we know and love say goodbye with honor and dignity for over 100 years. We are here to serve you and your family. Look at you. Having it together. You've got a car. Driving in my car. You have a house. Going in my house. Now get your car and house insured together with a state farm agent. A local agent can help you customize your coverage and save when you bundle your home and auto insurance. Call State Farm Agent David Cody with offices in Ava and in Mansfield. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer availability, amount of discount savings, and eligibility may vary. Ava R1 School is announcing a PTO family movie night. It is a drive-in style with a classic movie, Rock-A-Doodle. On the playground, bring lawn chairs and blankets. Students will be bringing home pre-sale purchase forms. It's $1 per ticket or $5 per family. Concessions will be available, and it's $2 per ticket at the door. It will be Friday, September 27th. Gates open at 7, and the movie will start at 7.30. PTO Family Movie Night at the AVAR One Schools. It's a great night here at Sylvie Field, C.E. Harlan Stadium, and tonight our special cheerleading night there with the uh, elementary and the youth cheerleaders, future cheerleaders. Uh, Amy telling me they had 137 down there. Parents, grandparents taking pictures and videos galore, and uh, boy, they... Did some performing earlier, did a fantastic job, and it has uh, brought in quite the crowd tonight as well, which Ava and Liberty getting together. 
This has been quite the game over the last few years. Last time Liberty came to Ava, 2022. Liberty takes a win. And folks, I hope you went to Ava RX Pharmacy earlier in the week to get your blood pressure refilled from the previous two weeks. Because if we got a third game in a row like what we've seen the last couple, man. Hang on. Yeah, and uh, watching some film on Liberty, they're an exciting team. They always struggle with our offense, but we tend to struggle with their offense too, and it should be a, a good one as they're led by the senior Gavin Reese. Uh, could be a lot of points tonight, and Gavin Reese is one of those guys who's been a four-year contributor now for Liberty offense. He's mixed time back and forth over his career from uh, wide receiver to the position, but here in his senior season, he's been more of the signal caller, and he leads this Liberty attack. Yeah, and they had no problem last week, as I said, beating Thayer 42 to 16. They returned 17 starters from last year. And again, Ava Ava rolled Liberty last year 52 to 14, but they return a lot, and both teams are playing one key defensive player, well, one key player down as uh, Ryder Johnson out along with uh, linebacker for Liberty. Yes, Mr. Toon, we'll get to that in a second. And, you know, actually that game against their last week and talking to the folks at Liberty, it was the run game that yeah. they committed to. Liberty, or excuse me, Thayer, they had game plan to try to stop the pass. And what's Liberty do against those soft boxes? They ran the ball and committed to it. Their running back had five touchdowns in the game. Speaking of running the ball, of course, that's what the Ava Bears want to do offensively. But the O-line Decimated by a few injuries tonight. You already spoke of Ryder Johnson, uh, Siler Willis. He may, may not go, probably not. And there's going to be a freshman that has stepping up and into the varsity lineup for his first start, Mason Trulio. They list him at 5'7", 240. He's been very impressive in summer workouts and whatnot. And tonight, it sounds like the big man is getting the call at left guard. And look, the last two weeks playing Rogersville, I think for a lot of that game, Rogersville controlled the line of scrimmage and then last week mountain grove at times did too so i think you know that among other things is a big key to this game how will those guys step up in the absence of some leaders on the line really it was midway through the co third quarter when it kind of switched there for both sides of the line for the bears and then let's talk about jacob lobb he has been so impressive on the defensive side of the ball and night as you see him going through warm-ups may be more of an offensive contributor here for the Bears at one of those a back positions. Yeah, and look, he certainly earned the opportunity um, to get more touches because he just plays with a speed that not many do and you got to love that and love to see him stepping up and it was early on in that buffalo game we took notice of him he took home i think the defensive player of the week and he uh, has continued to get better really been a great bright spot we're getting closer to kickoff folks ava bears about to take the field you're listening to cause radio and watching on tdh Touchdown for your financial future. This is Wes Davis with Town & Country Bank. We're committed to helping you score big with personalized banking services. Whether you're looking for a winning mortgage, a game-changing loan, or a simply a safe place to grow your savings, our team is here to support every step of the way. Visit us at tcbanks.com or stop by your local branch today. Town & Country Bank, nationally recognized, locally trusted. Let's go for a win together. Member FDIC. Cover more ground with the fast, durable Kubota Sidekick, featuring a gas-powered engine that delivers a top speed of 40 miles per hour, best-in-class acceleration and handling with cargo, and the strength to haul when needs hauling, all backed by a two-year, 1,000-hour warranty. Get more done right with the Kubota Sidekick. Visit your local Kubota dealer today. Go to KubotaUSA.com for full disclaimer. This is Levy at Schnurfy Goods. Do you have an event coming up with nothing to wear? Don't go naked. Schnurfy Goods has an outfit for you. You will leave feeling and looking schnurfy for every occasion. That's Schnurfy Goods Boutique and Mercantile, located on the north side of the Ava Square. Open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. At Rick's Roofing, we have expanded our business. We are now dozing for timber and other excavating work, skid steer work, some brush hogging, brush mulching, also helping you build your driveway, 
building houses or shop pads, backhoe work, septic work, and dump truck gravel hauling. Free quotes. And, of course, we're still taking care of your roofing needs, too. 683-8081. That's 683-8081 for Rick's Roofing, LLC. Comprehensive retirement planning involves more than product recommendations. It's helping clients file for Social Security to best fit their needs, changing insurances from employer to individual or Medicare plans, and involves enhanced planning with a will, a trust, and powers of attorney. Hi, I'm Joe Latour with Latour Asset Management. If you'd like help creating, maintaining, or a second opinion on your comprehensive retirement plan, visit our website at latourasset.com or give us a call today at 417-683-9553 and have a great day. Investment advisory services offered through Latour Asset Management, LLC, an investment advisor in the states of Missouri, Arkansas, Alaska, and Texas. It's Miller Lawn Service in Ava. They can take care of your commercial and residential needs from mowing your grass to trimming the hedges and more. Our fast, reliable and experienced team can help your lawn look its best. Call Doug today at 543-2294. That's 543-2294 for Miller Lawn Service. And let us take care of your lawn. Ava Bear football under the Friday night lights. Well, not yet. Sun's starting to go down there uh, behind us at Sylvie Field. And, Cooper, it seems like we say this every week here so far in the season, but uh, another game that has some big district implications for on down the road. Yeah, and Mountain View Liberty in the same district as your Bears. So even more important in that aspect, looking at the standings here, Fairgrove 3-0, 59 points. And by the way, Misha added the details of how they calculate these standings this week. I don't know if you saw that. Pretty cool. Uh, Ava in second, five points behind. And look, it's going to be hard to catch Fairgrove, assuming they win out there when it comes to points. Houston in third. 3-0, 3-0, playing very well. Liberty, like I said, at 43 points, 2-1 and one overall. And then Clever, Thayer, Willow Springs, Springfield Catholic. So, you know, we talked about it week one, pretty competitive district. And we'll see how Houston plays out the rest of the SCA uh, schedule. And they may be in line for a home game or two. Yeah, they got the battle of uh, Texas County, I believe, tonight with Kabul. And uh, I rely on the doctors to do my math. Yeah. That's, I rely on Rocky and Clinton there. And also during the pregame there, uh, Gary Lee there, Ozark Radio Network's talking that Houston, that is uh, kind of the surprise yeah. so far early in the season here. And uh, they're, they're starting to get into the meat and potatoes, starting next week of their schedule so we'll see how that shakes out getting ready to meet at midfield we'll do a coin toss and kickoff coming up here in just a few minutes live from ce harlan stadium sylvie field it's the central ozark stockyards located just eight miles south of ava off of highway five and we hope to see you mondays at the sale barn sale beginning every monday at 11 a.m for questions consignments or to schedule a farm visit please call marty 417-274-7719 or andy at 417-280-0755 central ozark stockyards sales every monday proud to support the ava bears It's a three-day sale at Town & Country Supermarket in Ava this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. Prairie Farms pork fillets, $5.99 each. Washington's sugar beet apples, $1.98 per pound. Sunray Easy Peel mandarins, $4.98 each. Hand-breaded chicken tenders in the deli, $4.99 per pound. And best choice, shredded or chunk cheese, two for $7. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Town & Country Supermarket in Ava. Accounting for keeping track of the good descriptions for Paul Wade at Paul Wade and Associates of Ava. Paul Wade and Associates of Ava, your certified public accounting. Great bookkeeping, great accounting, great advice, and a great fan. That's Paul Wade and Associates. Phone number 417-683-2319. That's 417-683-2319. In Ava, Missouri. Hershey Farm Supply, we have it all for you. 
When it comes to your feed and farm supply needs, they do have it all for you at Hirsch Feed and Farm Supply. Open Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Whether you're a generational farmer or a hobby farmer, we've got you covered at Hirsch Feed and Farm. Hirsch Feed and Farm Supply since 1974. Hirsch Feed and Farm Supply, we're more than a farm store. Congratulations, you're having a little girl. At that moment, everything changed. Our hopes and dreams for ourselves were instantly replaced by our hopes and dreams for her. We got life insurance policies from Shelter Insurance so that regardless of what life throws at us, we'll still be able to provide the world to her. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. Contact your new shelter insurance agent neighbor, Katrina Holt, 683-4417. Stockman's Bank, proud past, exciting future. Glad to support local athletics. Check out our new mobile app that can help you do banking wherever you go on your smartphone. Stop by our AVA location and let us know how we can assist you with all your banking needs. Stockman's Bank. Proud past, exciting future. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. It's just about ready for kickoff. Coin toss, won by the Bears. They chose to defer. Hunter Adams getting ready. Ava in the blue on blue. The gold pants made a a one-time appearance there last week. Don't want to burn out on them too soon. Loved them, though. (laughs) Liberty back to receive. Our cartoon on one side. Chris Shaw on the other, and we are underway. And an angling kick towards the 20, and it looks like it just went out of bounds. Or did it? And the referee's going to spot it there at the 18-yard line. And so that... Well, saves us a good 17 yards of field position. So you've seen this in the NFL a few times. He fielded it with a foot out of bounds, meaning it'd be a penalty. Uh, the officials did not know that or, or didn't play it well, like that. How many times, though, have we seen that what's called on Sundays isn't necessarily right. a Friday night uh, flag? So Liberty's going to have it first and 10 from their own 18-yard line. Now, wow. last week, they committed to the run, and they had great success with it against the Thayer Bobcats. And right now, Reese, he's having a uh, equipment issue with the helmet. Or excuse me, that's not Reese. That is uh, the dive back, I believe, Rutledge, who had five touchdowns. Not too bad. That's a good Saturdays of work. So Liberty, one day less of rest, if that accounts for anything here in high school football than what Ava did playing the Saturday game. Man in motion from the slot. Reese back in the gun. It will be a handoff, and a hole opens up on the left side. Penalty flags down. First down yardage and more, and Rutledge still on his feet and finally drug out of bounds by Thomas Merritt. But a penalty flag way back, and Reese isn't going anywhere, and it looks like holding on the Eagles, and that erases a huge first play of the game run for Rutledge. Yeah, that was going to be somewhere around 45 to 55 yards on the run. But that um, that flag was out early, and it was around the area where Rutledge got free. So I had a feeling that one was coming back. So they will back him up. That's inside the 20, so I think it's a half a distance to the goal penalty and not a full 10. Uh, it looks like they marked it off a full 10. We learn something new every week. Uh, Yeah, I need to do more studying. Uh, Get out the uh, Misha High School Football rule book. They they mailed me one of those for basketball, so I'm excited to read that. Not for football. Two receivers to each side. Spread formation. Rutledge to the left side of the quarterback, Reese, and the shotgun. Ava showing man-to-man coverage here. Now kind of backing off slowly. Man goes in motion across to the left. Here's Reese back to pass. It's going to be a deep ball going deep for Toon, and it is incomplete. Abraham and Swash there over the top to help out Parker Toon. The junior started school at Mountain View Birch Tree and left away. 
and then came back. And the Eagle Nation, very happy that he is back. He's been a playmaker for him. Yeah, really good defense and coverage there over the top. Uh, you mentioned Swadish in coverage. Really good throw, too. And Hutchinson had a free release, free rush at the quarterback. Mm-hmm. That may have hurried up Reese quicker than what he would have liked. So it's second down and 20. Here for the Eagles, backed up near their own end zone. Reese back in shotgun, throw it out in the flat, top side of the field. It's a catch and run. We fall down. It's in the hands of Toon, and he's making guys miss, and he's got a first down and more out of bounds at the 37-yard line. And we've heard about this all week long. This Parker Toon, when he has the ball in his football hands, he can be really dangerous, and we just seen it there. Yeah, gain of 31 there, and uh, just a quick pass, and able to get away from two or three Ava Bear defenders, and the first big play of the game goes to Liberty. And Liberty will go fast. Joe Corm was just talking about that. Of course, you got an Ackland coaching at an Ackland there for years, and they like to get in the hurry up when they get in rhythm. That pass short at the feet for Chris Shar, the senior slot receiver, and that will be second down and 10. And you see already on the first couple of plays, first play was a run play. It was successful, but it got called back, and then since then, a couple of throws, and it's totally different from what Liberty did against Thayer, which makes me think Liberty thinks they're not going to have that same success up front. Bears, those pre-snaps showing a different look than what the Bobcats did last week. Mm-hmm. Last week there, you know, that cover two, two safety back, it's been the talk of the football <laughs> world this week. And uh, Thayer came out in that a lot. Here's a handoff in the jet sweep to Shar. Nice. Thomas Merrick comes up, gets some help from Lobb, and it'll make it third down and about five, maybe six. Here for the Eagles. Yeah, gain of four, I think, on the carry for Shar. So it brings up third down and medium. Cooper Emmerich, Tyler Watterson here giving you the play-by-play. Tyson and his amazing crew scattered throughout. Sylvie Field here to bring you the best visuals you can find on a Friday night. Guarantee you that. Uh, about the ten and a half minute mark here. First quarter, Liberty. First touch of the football. Man in motion. They're going to run the option. Pitch it. It's trickery. Tune. He's going to throw. He's going deep and knocked away by Thomas Merritt. Fantastic coverage. Coach Garrett Beard told me earlier in the week, and I was telling you before we went on, Toon, the lefty, he's going to take a few shots tonight. He can throw two and just did. Yeah, and exactly right. Nobody was fooled by that on Ava. That tells me that the coaching staff and uh, defensive coordinator, Coach Garrett Baird, were prepared for that look. Double coverage there, too, on the deep post pattern. Boy, Toon, the lefty, throws a pretty ball, too, Coop. It's a good throw. Hunting formation. It is Reese. He will punt it. Wobbly end over end. Takes an Ava bounce. Be down at the 27. That's where Ava will have it. First and 10. PDK Customs offers custom fabrication, welding, fleet maintenance, sleeper conversions, frame stretchings for big rigs, and mechanic service for most heavy equipment. PDK Customs is located on Old Highway 5 in Ava. Their phone number is 417-250-0892. That's 417-250-0892. And wishing the Ava Bears good luck this season. Ava offense coming out for their first possession of the football. And a lot of people hoping tonight kind of a breakout, Cooper, for the Bears offense. Yeah, and specifically, I think Hunter Adams will bounce back. He only had 105 yards last week. And they were tough yards, folks. Very Here's a pitch play. Thomas Merritt coming here to the bottom. has got Hutch trying to lead him and block. Swadish a little help, but it is a minimal gain to maybe three. And make it second and long as we're nearing the 10-minute mark here of the opening quarter. Yeah, gain of just three, and you saw that play. Merritt just kept stretching, the, stretching it out, stretching it out. Pretty good coverage right there on first down by Liberty. And you said it, Coop. They stretched that out, allowed enough time for the pursuit to get there. They'll bunch the receivers in here on second and seven, we'll call it. It is going to be a handoff to Adams and nothing there. And he is drove back, actually. So, again, you got a couple of guys here missing along the offensive line. We talked about it in the pregame, and that's something got to watch here early on. 
is how the Bears will hold up up front. Yeah, not a good first run there. And Liberty, he's pretty fired up. Ava Cotton going a little bit of a hurry up here almost. Still 20 seconds on the play clock, trying to get Liberty to jump across. And I think they did get a guy a bite there in the neutral zone. Looked like the Preston Smothers tried to hold up. He did. But gravity, I think, took over for him. Yeah, that'll, bring, that'll make it third down and two much more manageable. So that's why the Bears were hurrying up to the line of scrimmage there. Third down and short on a unseasonably warm late September ball game. I think uh, radio said 93 when I was walking up here. Water breaks welcome tonight. 9.22 on the clock. Handoff to Adams fighting for the first down, and I think he's got it by a yard. And Hunter Adams, some tough running right up the gut right there following Churchill, the freshman Trulio. I think we've got also out there tonight uh, Thomas Brown, who did start in the week one game against Buffalo, so he's no stranger to playing a lot of snaps and a lot of minutes. But the freshman, that's one to watch tonight. First and ten for the Bears. It'll be a handoff Adams once again. And not much running room in the trenches here for Hunter so far. And boy, Looked like could have been some uh, potential for a lot of green grass up top there if they keeps that. Yeah, and uh, you saw this against Mountain Grove early. Mountain Grove was stuff in the middle. Ava made an adjustment and started getting Adams out in space. We'll see if Ava tries that at some point very early. Don't get me wrong. Second down and long. Counter play coming here to the bottom. Thomas Merritt cuts it up. And not a whole lot there either. And Parker Toon down here. Kind of an outside backer DN spot. Really crashed down the edge hard and was not going to let the play get outside of him, which forced Merritt to go back up in the middle into the teeth of the defense. Yeah, and now it's, um, you know, you're close to go for it. I don't think the Bears will if they don't get it, but this is a predictable pass uh, situation here. Let's see if the Bears uh, try to air it out. Third down and seven. Liberty also tonight without their starting middle backer. It'll be Lane on the keeper. Pitch it up top. It's Jordan Hutchinson. Lowers the shoulder. It's end over ended, but is right near the first down and may have got it on the uh, the somersault there, Coop. I love that play out of uh, Jordan Hutchinson running as hard as he could and just lowered the shoulder. And the guy's been battling shin splints a lot here early in the season. And you got to hope that it's getting more manageable on the pain tolerance and can see him run the ball more because he does have an extra gear mm -hmm. for the Bears. It is a pitch play here by the Merritt, and it is a crash and a tackle for a loss. Aiden Nozaya blows it up for a Damn. big loss there for the Bears offense. Yeah, loss of six, I think, on that play. And someone at Liberty, I don't know if it's their linebackers shooting those gaps, but they're getting there in a hurry. Then again, uh, the other tune, Reed tune, out tonight. Kind of a late scratch, battling some illness and such. And he was a tackling machine against the Bobcats last week and has been this year so far. Second down and long, 15. Back to pass his lane, looking down the middle. Hit as he throws, and it's going to be picked off and intercepted. Tackled at the 31. Liberty forces a turnover. They'll have it next. Hello, this is Kara Sweeney. And Javen Sweeney. From Sweeney Family Dental. My dad is patient, and he is good at listening to all your needs. That's right, Jabin. Hey, did you know that 50% of all heart attacks and strokes are caused by bad bacteria in the mouth? Yep, dad told me. That's why he started offering saliva tests for his patients. Come and see my dad. I know you will like him. We are just off the square in Ava, and if nothing else, remember... Dad is gentle at Sweeney Family Dental. Liberty forces the first big play of the game. Here is a handoff. Rutledge and the Bears defense, Hunter Adams and some other guys. Bring him down. Yeah, Kel Abraham, lob coming in late. Uh, Rutledge, he's a tough guy to bring down. Thayer learned that the hard way last week. Yeah, big, pretty big back, but nice job by the Bears. Noah Cook also in there. How about the big snaps Noah Cook played in the fourth quarter of that game last week against Mountain Grove? Really did 
an outstanding job filling in for Johnson. He was our hit stick of the game winner and just kept showing up play after mm-hmm. play after play. Brought a lot of fire and juice there to the D-line. They'll need him tonight. Second down and nine. Six minutes in the first quarter. Bears backing off here, showing kind of a zone look. And here's a quick throw and a quick tackle. And it'll be short of the first down, caught by Parker Toon. Boy, he's got a lot of touches already here, Coop. Yeah, he does. Gain of five. So we'll take that. As you saw, Abraham drop back right before the snap. And it brings down a third down and four, maybe five. Coach Baird's going to get in uh, his bag tonight, as they yeah. say. There'll be some disguised looks a lot by the Bears tonight. Here's Reese back to throw. They're going to do the same route, and it is caught for a first down. We've got a flag in the backfield, and this is a huge call. Yeah. Holding on the Eagles. That's the second penalty against Liberty that erases a good play for their offense. Yeah, not sure who that's on, but a big, big penalty here pushes them back. I'm going to march them back probably. The, the Bears' pass rush as far as generating pressure with the front four, not as chaotic as what they were last year, but uh, in moments and spots here. Coach Baird, he brings some pressure, and right now it's messing with Liberty offensive line. And we're going to have a water break timeout. We'll take one. No score here midway through the first. Whether it's personal injury, car accidents, criminal defense, and no matter if the case is large or small, Christopher J. Swadish, attorney at law, would be honored to represent you. You can visit with the AVA office, 200 East Washington, or you can call 683-2987, or even visit the website, www.swadish.com. This is Shannon Watterson with Show Me Real Estate. We have been blessed to serve this area for their real estate needs for over 20 years. And if you're thinking of buying or selling, stop by our AVA or Mansfield locations Monday through Friday, or visit us on the website at show-mehomes.com. Thanks and God bless. This is Travis Smith, state rep of the 155th District. I coach for nearly 20 years, and I know the value of athletics in our community. Just want to say go Ava Bears and good luck this season and in the playoffs. Midway through the first quarter, 521 on the clock. Going to be a third and 14. Here for the Bears and Kanoa Cook, Churchill, Corrigan, Hutch, Hornick, Lobb. See, that's the thing. You never know sometimes where that pressure is going to come from. And who's going to blitz? Will we play coverage or bring the pressure here for third and long? You got four out, so watch out. Spread formation. Two receivers to each side. Tune is in the slot here at the bottom. Back to Reese. Throw a wide receiver screen, trying to chase it up top. Bears have the numbers there, and Lane just kind of lowers the shoulder. Would have liked to have seen a wrap-up there to be a little more fundamentally sound, but he does the job and brings them down, and it'll make it fourth and short, and Liberty looks like a play you run when you're thinking about yeah. going for fourth, and it looks like it here. Now, Reese is the punter, so this is where you got to be extra careful when you're back there on the defense, and Hutch, I, I agree. Forget going back to field that punt. Bring that extra defender up to help out. And Reese will kick. They'll play the field position game. Bounces and takes a big Liberty bounce. So a nice punt down at the 20. Hey, but first and 10 next. Hello, this is Josh with the Douglas County Health Department. Our community is working together to restore lives and repair the damage caused by substance use and addiction. We have a network of people who care. They are coordinating resources. Our Community Navigator helps people set goals and connect them to the support they need on their journey to recovery. Find out what you can do. Contact the Douglas County Health Department, and together we can bring healing and support to people on their journey to recovery. Call 417-683-4174. The Ava defense does its job after the interception. Get the ball back. It's Hunter Adams. And, oh, man. Oh, now there's the ball out. It is a fumble. The ball is popped out, and Liberty has it. And a huge mistake 
there for the Bears, and Liberty is in business, forcing their second turnover. Well, now the decision to punt looks even better. That was just Lane and Adams not on the same page. Yeah, it was. Uh, looked like Lane maybe tried to pull it. Not sure. Hunter thought he was going to get it or thought it was going to be pulled. It was miscommunication, and man, Liberty now can make it hurt. Inside the 20, Reese back to throw. He's throwing towards the sideline, and it is caught for a touchdown by Toon. Just did a little wide receiver fade route here at the bottom, and Abraham just a step behind, and the Reese to Toon connection strikes. Yeah, way too easy, and... Back-to-back possessions with turnovers to start the game for the Bears cannot do that, cannot afford to continue to do that. And a little wobbly of a throw, but it got the job done for Reese. He can run routes. And how far on the pass play? Third, um, 20 yards. Now they will line up to go for two. Got quads here. On the bottom side of the field, Toon goes in motion. Looks like man-to-man defense. Liberty doing that motion to see what look they have. Reese scrambling to his right, throws, and it's batted down by Abraham. So two-point play, no good. But Liberty converts off of the fumble. 425 first quarter, Liberty 6, Ava 0. New hardware store in Ava. Bartow Ace Hardware is now open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 6.30 and on Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And mark your calendars for the grand opening on October 11th and 12th. They will be giving away Ace Hardware gift cards. Huge prizes on raffles and signing up Ace Hardware reward members for 10% off purchases. Bartow Ace Hardware, happy to be in the AVA community and ready to help you with your projects. Sports season means traveling home and away, town to town, ball game to ball game. And your one-stop shop for all your gasoline, diesel, and convenience store needs is Signal. Whether you need a quick snack, bite to eat, or to fuel up, Signal is the place to go. Make sure you have your Signal Rewards card with you and earn rewards for purchases that you are going to make anyway. That's Signal Food Stores, Scribner Oil, proud to support local athletics. Ava Bears facing their third really tough opponent back to back to back weeks. You know, there was some that was wondering, will there be an emotional maybe even a physical letdown after a couple of real smash mouth contests there in Raj and Mountain Grove. But right now it's the mental mistakes here, Coop. Couple of turnovers really hurting the Bears. Kicked and fielded there by Hutch, and they will do the reverse to Merritt and Liberty not fooled. And Merritt tackled at the 26. Ava first and 10. It's the Brian Adams Agency, LLC. Your brand new American Family Insurance Agent. Office located in Mansfield, Missouri. At American Family Insurance, life's better when you're protected under our roof. Needing a quote? Contact Brian Adams to see what he can do for you. Hi, this is Brian Adams, new American Family Agent in Mansfield, Missouri. Give me a call at 417-924-3216. Ava needing a response here. It'll be quarterback keeper Aiden Lane. He's got some running room. First down, stays on his feet and reverses field across the 50. Cuts it back up and tackled at the 37-yard line. And Aiden Lane, a playmaker on that occasion and the biggest play for the Bears offense tonight. Yeah, a gain of 37 and maybe that uh, last turnover fired him up a little bit. Lane only had 11 yards last week and uh, more than tripled that right there for 37. I think we're talking about the Ava offense breaking out tonight. Kind of waiting to see Aiden Lane have a big, big game for the Ava O. Under four minutes to go. Bears trailing 6-0 here in the first quarter. It'll be a handoff. Adams stretches it out, lowers the shoulder across the 35, down to about the 33-yard line. Wrong. 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 Powerful tackle. Yeah, gain of three right there on first down. That. And you see uh, Lom check in for Hutchison, one of those A-backs. You got Swadish and Pitts, your receivers. Again, got a couple of new guys along the offensive line. 
One of them, a freshman, making his first varsity start. He's in the left guard spot. Mason Trulio, coaching staff, raves about potential of him. It'll be Jacob Lobb on the counter who just checked in and lost the footing. There, boy, he was trying to turn the corner hard and cut it up in. It slipped down. Did, did it rain here in town earlier? We got a good wash down uh, County Road 102. So funny enough, my wife said elementary poured over where I was at near the high school did not. Uh, it sprinkled a little bit. So I uh, hit and miss, I guess. But it field looks really good. Right, as it always does here. 243 to go. Opening quarter. Big third down. Lane under center. And Lane will be on the keeper. Nice hurdle over the defender. Now he'll run it up top. The referee kind of slowed down his momentum. The referee, did you see him put both hands in the air like, oh, I'm sorry. Nowhere to hide right there for the official. Gain of 11, though, and another nice decision to keep it. He's going to have to keep doing that. Boy, he, he was a no man's <laughs> land right there. That uh, Put that one on the highlight reel there, Tyson, or the blooper reel, maybe. <laughs> But it's a first down carry and Lane making some dynamic moves here with his legs on this third drive of the game. It'll be Lane keeping once again. Gets what he can. Another good gain. About four, maybe five. Yep, four yards right there up to 50. Up to 52 rushing yards all on this uh, drive. That just kind of grows the ceiling, if you will of the Ava potential on offense, the more of a playmaker Lane can be. Farm Bureau Insurance, Agent Sean Irby, scoring update, Mountain Grove leading, I think it's their homecoming night, 7-0 to zero over Willow. Looking for Coach Swaff's first win. And we leaned forward there. Did you see it, Coop? Yep. We leaned forward and called for a false start. It's up five. Make it second down and 11. Well, you know, you think about it. Ava's had two turnovers, Liberty, two penalties that have been very costly on them. So both teams, their fair share of mistakes, but the fumble inside your 20, you're usually going to pay every time for that one. Yep. Three receivers here. Move out a guy in the slot lane back to throw. He's under pressure, and he chucks it. And fortunate to land incomplete as well, they almost had like a quarterback spy on him, Cooper, where that linebacker there for the Eagles, Matt Bushong, almost just kind of a setback and watch the eyes of the quarterback and see what he does. Yeah, and that was a long developing play. Uh, some longer routes right there, and the protection just not holding up enough that time so third down and 11 clock stops with 118 left you now we talked about it last week how fast moving it was friend for the long haul here tonight I think with, you're right. uh, the liberty team here is a handoff adams and man he gets tripped up and end over ended and it'll be knocked down at the 21 yard line so you've got fourth and a good nine here, Cooper. Yep, and we do not have uh, Blakely like we had a couple of years ago. So this is uh, this is go zone and probably go to the air zone. Bears looking over for the play. Coach Merrifield calling it in. Everybody checks the wristbands. Hoping to be on the same page here for a big fourth and nine. Under 40 seconds in the opening quarter. Bears trailing 6-0. It is Lane on the keeper. Late pitch, and it is dropped by Merritt. Ava, turnover on downs. Liberty will take over. First and 10 from 27. Jim's Body Shop of Ava, your full-service body shop here in Cause Country. Jim's Body Shop will work with all insurance companies to make it easier on you when accidents happen with your automobile. You can reach Jim's at 417 417- 683-4609. Once again, that's 417-683-4609 for Jim's Body Shop and Ava. They are always cheering on the Ava Bears. Now there's no sugarcoating it here, Cooper. It has been a pretty sloppy start for the Bears O. Two fumbles and an interception, the first three possessions, and giving Liberty 
all the chances to take command of this game. Bears defense, thankfully, has forced a couple punts here in this first quarter. Back to Reese, handoff up the middle. It's Rutledge, and he's a big guy and a tough one to bring down, and he'll have a good first down game. Yeah, gain of six right there for Rutledge, and just just a big hole up the middle. And if Liberty can run it like that, that is not good with how well they can pass it. You know, last week, first quarter, Ava Mountain Grove, two flex phone teams. I think each of them just had a possession in the opening quarter. Liberty now their fourth touch of the football. We come to the end of the first quarter. Eagles leading 6-0. Are you buying, selling, or refinancing? Well, Mill Country Title has locations in Ava and Gainesville to help you with title insurance, deed preparation, refinance loan closings, and real estate contracts closings as well. Mill Country Title in Ava is located at 307 Springfield Road and phone number 417-683-1907. And phone number in Gainesville is 417-679-2107 for Mill Country Title. Hey, this is Jessica. At JNL Tire, your one stop shop for tire needs in Douglas County. We also do vehicle inspections, oil changes, and service calls to fix your flat here local. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Open Saturday, 8 to 2. We want to earn your business at JNL Tire. We treat you right. 417 683 1551. That's 417 683 1551 for JNL Tire. Ava Bears right now trying to kind of recompose themselves here, Cooper. You know, these are these are week one mistakes we're seeing yeah. here out of the flex bone offense. Not stuff you want to have show up on the tape in week four. Yeah, and three turnovers on the first three possessions is really, really bad. Ava had one turnover last week and uh, one turnover the week before, I think. Reese back in the shotgun. Man goes in motion, Shar, and a handoff to Rutledge once again. We got another penalty flag down. Minimal game there, and we'll see what the flag is. I think he's gonna probably maybe decline it if it's on Liberty, or it was pre-snap. Never mind. Procedure penalty. Yeah. And that'll back him up five, and they will take the penalty on this occasion. So that's, what, the third penalty against the Eagles? Yep. Probably feel like the Cincinnati Bengals on the bad luck with the flags right now. I still don't see why that was very controversial. Everybody (laughs) forgets the Chiefs' illegal hands to the face on the uh, play before. When it was fourth and four. Anybody complaining about that call, don't know ball. Here's back to throw. Sets up a little stick route. It is caught. Aiden Lane, oh, I was about to say made a sure tackle. And then Swadish will have to come clean it up, but not before the Eagles get a first down. And I believe that's the first target for Eddie Rodriguez, the junior for the Eagles. Yeah, Rodriguez, good wide receiver for... He, uh, Liberty, he was all-conference last year. A lot of weapons for this Eagle team. You know, talking to the players and training camp reports that we do on Cause Radio, a lot of them talking about that Week 2 game, getting a chance against the big city, Rogersville. Then talking about Week 3 game, the Coach Swafford reunion. But the Eagles, they've got a dangerous team. Here's a good first down run, and there's the ball out. And people pointing towards the Ava way. Hunter Adams... Logan Churchill act like the Bears have it, and they do. Big turnover. The first one by the Eagles, and we'll see if that gets the Ava offense going. Hi, everybody. This is Heston Fish, owner and operator of Fish Logging. In the logging industry, there are many methods and processes. My method is simply timber management. Call me if you want to keep your forest as forest. No clear cutting. I am confident when I say I can provide the very best markets in walnut, white oak, and red oak. My number one goal is to provide a good logging experience for you and clear communication. Please give me a call at 417-543-0506. Go Bears. It's warm in here, Cooper. (laughs) It is. Uncomfortably warm. 
Here is a handoff Adams and breaks through a shoestring tackle and stays on his feet, lowers a shoulder, and that run right there, all Hunter. That was a physical run of eight yards, and it looked like he was going to get one or two. That was a grown man run right there by Hunter, just through the hole. Scoring update for you, 14-0 Mountain Grove leading Willow and Houston leads Kabul 7-0. Pitt split out at the bottom, got two receivers up there up top. Adams the dive back, he will get it, and Hunter trying to get close to the first down yardage near the 30, and that'll make it third and very short and manageable here for the Bears offense. Now can they get something going and capitalize off of a turnover? Yeah, we've had just one big play, really, and that was the 37-yard run by Aiden Lane. Outside of that, Liberty doing a good job. Got to give him credit. They've really been making the Bears work, moving the ball down the field. Third and short, Lane comes under center. And it's going to be a handoff to Adams once again. Hey, diddle diddle, up the middle. Dragon tacklers inside the 30, down to near the 25 yard line. And Hunter, boy, them legs, when they're moving, it's tough to knock him backwards and tough to bring him down. Yeah, really nice. Another really nice run and fresh set of downs for the Bears. 9.20 on the clock here in the second quarter. Ava trailing 6-0. Man in motion. Going to be a handoff. Adams and look at the jump cut. Takes it up top. Stiff arms the man into the end zone. Touchdown. ABA. Hunter Adams. Strength and speed to give the Bears their first score of the game. How many yards on the run? 24 yards on the run by Adams. That is more like it. Slipped out of one tackle. And then a diving effort from Liberty, and you're not going to bring him down very often like that. And Ava ties things up and looks for the lead right here. Big two-point play. We weren't as crisp on this last week no. until the final score. Man goes in motion. It's Merritt. He'll get the pitch top side of the field, cuts it up, and I uh, got to be close, and he didn't get it. So 9 9 then the first half. Ava 6, Liberty 6. Missouri Ozarks Community Health is excited for the 5K Run Walk in Health Fair. It'll be on October 12th. The race starts at 8 a.m., followed by the Health Fair from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Both events are held at the Wellness Center in Ava. There will be free food and lots of fun in activities. Registrations for the race are to help raise money for the children to get dental care on the dental bus at Missouri Ozarks Community Health. Hi, it's Aaron and Dan here at Cornerstone Agency encouraging you to vote. No one is going to twist your arm. And you can choose not to, but just like getting health coverage, there could be lasting repercussions. It may take a few minutes to register and a few more to cast your ballot, but checking on health insurance only takes five minutes. Call our office 417-683-1035 and see if you can get coverage today. 417-683-1035. That's 417-683-1035. We're, We're looking out for you. Bears getting into the sweet nectar of the end zone there for the first time in the game. Hunter Adams. What a cut up to the top side of the field. And a stiff arm. And it's six. But the Bears last couple of weeks, though, are struggling on that two-point play, Cooper. Yeah, it looked really good the first two weeks. Uh, first week, Buffalo was perfect, yeah, I think, right? I think five for five or six for six, maybe. Farm Bureau Insurance, Sean Irby scoring update. Mountain Grove leading 21-0 against Willow. Here's on the return. It's Shar. And he stays on his feet, dances around, and Ava needs to wrap up. And he finally is at the 40-yard line. When you're injured, when you're accused, or when it's time to get your personal and business affairs in order, it's the Wade Law Office. You need experienced representation. 25 years. The Wade Law Office, LLC, on the Ava Square, West Side. When you need help, Chris Way at the Wade Law Office, 25 years serving those in cause country. 
Two receivers up top. Reese hands it off to Rutledge, and Rutledge knocked down and a great tackle there by Jacob Lobb, and I think had help from Gunnar Evans in the ball game. And that one, I'm sure Rutledge thought was going to be a pretty big play there once he got close to the hole. Yeah, yeah, really nice tackle by Lobb to save probably a first down, maybe more type run. Here's two up top, one at the bottom. Got a wing back to the right and a running back to the right. And Reese play action pass. He's looking here at the bottom. He throws it up deep for Shar and Lane dives and knocks it away. But a flag comes down. And I guess they're going to say that Lane got there early. Speaking of the Bengals, reference earlier. Yeah. And, and I did, Coach Case Merrifield. Uh, got me corrected on something. So face guarding is actually allowed now on Friday nights. Did not know that until last week. And uh, they're having to say here that Lane got to the receiver before the ball arrived. And I think it was just barely before the ball got there. Really close. Mm. Probably now that's too close. That seems more 50-50 yeah. to me, but I also am wearing my blue and my gold. That's a big penalty. So that gives Liberty a first down now in Ava territory at the 43-yard line. And a new set of downs here. For Gavin Reese, four-year starter. For this eagle attack, it'll be a handoff. Rutledge gets through the hole, stays on his feet, has a first down, pushing his own man out of the way, and finally gets tripped up at about the 29-yard line. And Rutledge right now, is normally number 44, threw on a new jersey tonight, number 10, but he is uh, announcing his presence in this first half with some of these tough runs. Yeah, really nice run right there, gain of 13, and Liberty back in business. Just a junior again, had about 17 total returning starters and lettermen. Reese back to throw, looking here at the bottom, throws it, another stick route, caught by Shar Jukes, and is tackled. And it's another first round. And those stick route coopers, they act like they're running full speed down the field. And then at about the eight or ten yard mark, they just do a quick turnaround, kind of like a curl route, if you're familiar with those. And uh, taking advantage of maybe the Bears playing a little soft on the coverage there in the secondary. Yeah, gain a 16. Here's another handoff, Rutledge and wow. Arian. Wow. Bears defenders there. Noah Cook had him at the line of scrimmage and got carried for about five yards. Physical runner is Rutledge. That was a very physical and very strong run. Liberty right now, they are feeling momentum. Currently here on this drive, it is a 6-6 ball game with 7.20 on the clock here in the first half. And honestly, Bears the turnovers, probably fortunate here that it's tied at the moment. Bears will bring pressure. It doesn't get there. Reese now flush from the pocket and just tries to throw it away. Now there is no receiver within miles of where the pass landed. And I guess they're going to say Reese got outside of the tackle box. And I think now the officials may talk about this. I don't think he was outside of that. Because it looked like he was drifting back, not to the side. <laughs> And the yeah. flag comes out. It's going to be intentional grounding. And look at the Liberty coaching staff losing their minds here on the sideline. Penalty number five for Liberty. And I don't think that one is very debatable. Here's a replay here on TDH Media. Um, I mean, it, there's no way he is outside the tackle box right there. He did start drifting to his right a little bit towards the end, but not... <laughs> A whole lot. So that uh, that's a call that we endorse and I think is the appropriate call. Because, again, that, uh, no receiver anywhere for miles. That's a 15-yard penalty. Got to be intentional grounding. He was just trying to get rid of it. There was no receiver around. Yeah, that's a big one. He was socially distanced from where the football landed. Two receivers up top, one here at the bottom. 
Reese back in the gun. Three-step drop, looking in the flat. Pressure's on. He evades the rush and throws it and completes it. Catch. And wow, the Bears had at least one guy back there that had Reese in his grasp, and somehow Reese avoided a sack. Yeah, but it was only a gain of three and brings up fourth down and very long here. Yeah, the loss of down, really the big kicker there yeah. on the intentional grounding. Penalties really hurting the Eagles here in the first half. Bear stands coming alive a little bit. Reese back to throw. He's looking down the seam. It's caught. Oh. No, incomplete. But that's what yeah. we want. Jacob Lobb right there had the ball go through his hands. And probably a little down on himself, but it's okay, young man. That was a good deal. Ava Turka take over. First and 10 now at the 25-yard line, it looks like. So what did you say? Five penalties so far, Cooper? Yep. On the Eagles? Five penalties on Liberty and three turnovers on Ava. Four turnovers in the game total. So it's been pretty sloppy. So first and 10. 6-6 six, six the score. 6-46. First half. Two receivers, one to each side. And it'll be a handoff to Adams. And, boy, we've seen him get somersaulted more than once in this game where they take him out down low around the knees and below, and he goes end over end. Yeah, that's probably one of the better ways to hit him on the ground. I mean, that's... uh, you don't like anybody going for the knees, right. but uh, if you're a defender tasked with, you're not going to hit him up high and have success. Right. So here is Lane on the keeper. Nice keep. Gets a first down. Spins forward and gets to about the 36, maybe 37 yard line. Aiden Lane starting to make a difference here in this ball game, Cooper, for the Ava offense. Yeah, gain of eight right there for Aiden Lane, and Ava gets the ball to start the second half, and we're at the six minute mark. It'd be real nice if they can just run this down and score right before half and get it back again. It's a warm one. It's muggy. Miss your water break. We'll take one, too. We're tied 6-6 midway through the second. The name Copeland is back in the community, still providing the same service. Copeland builds on over a century of leadership in HVAC and refrigeration and starts a new chapter in next-generation climate technologies for residential, commercial, and industrial markets. We have a history of investing in projects to benefit the local communities where we live and work and have many employees that serve as nonprofit board members in the area. We want you to come and work for us at Copeland, right here in Cause Country. Williams Supply Outpost of Ava is a large animal and pet supply store. They have pet food, vaccines, and veterinary supplies, and so much more. Williams Supply Outpost is located at 502 East Washington Avenue in Ava. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Saturdays, 8 a.m. to noon. Phone number for more information, 417-683-2422 for William Supply Outposts of Ava. First half has definitely had the miscues committed by both teams here in this game. We're at 6-6. Another big early season battle here. Big conference game. With district implications, it will be Lane on the keeper. Cuts it up. Look at the juke move. Stays on his feet. Look at the quick feet. He spins top side of the field into Liberty territory and down at about the 45-yard line. And look at how quick the feet chopping there and moving for Aiden Lane on that run. Nice run and a gain of 20 for Aiden Lane. And that spin move towards the end was real nice, real uh, good vision. 5.35 5.35 here in the opening quarter. Bears trying to go the length of the field here. Now in Eagle territory. It will be a handoff. Adams keeping his feet moving. And then finally slung down after a good first down carry there. Yeah, gain of six right there for Adams. And as we hit the five-minute mark. Ball, a market at the 38 yard line. And Ava here in no hurry. Yep. And why would we be? 
By the way, on cause AM right now, 1430, the Kansas City Royals down one to zero against the Giants. Took a rough three game series against Detroit where they got swept. And Hunter Adams, full head of steam. He's got a first down and slumped down at the 31. We're trying to have some playoff baseball for the first time since Patrick Mahomes has been a chief. It's been a long time since 2015, and the Royals trying to hang on again there on the AM 1430, but that wild card lead is dwindling for him. Yeah, dwindling fast. Gain to seven right there for Hunter Adams and another first down. Four and a half minutes left here before halftime. New set of downs for the Bears. Again at the 31-yard line. Man in motion is Merritt. Going to be a handoff to Adams. And, man, that time they closed the hole quickly. And I think Aiden Lane probably was a little bummed out there on himself that he didn't keep that one. Had his pitch man up there and some number advantage, it looked like. I think he kind of tried to keep that a little bit. We have seen him fumble one exchange yeah. there earlier, so maybe thinking the better safe than sorry. As the Bears right now on the move, it is second down and 10. 3.45 on the clock. And it'll be a keeper lane, and he spins and gets knocked down to the 25. And it'll make it third and about three and a half here. Yep, gain of six right there for lane, and that's much more... Tyson, Tyson says his parents at the Royals game tonight. Well, I hope they're bringing him some luck. Mm-hmm. Need to have a good weekend at home. Last home games for the Royals. Okay. Third and about four, they're going to say. Man goes in motion, Merritt. And it will be a whistle. We'll have a timeout. We'll take one, two. We've got 310 left here in the first half. We're tied up 6-6. Six, six. For your cleanup projects, large and small, give us a call. At Douglas County Dumpsters, LLC, we have options on different sizes that will fit your needs the best, as well as weekly and monthly rentals. Customer service is important to us. We will accommodate to the best of our abilities with whatever project you have. For more information or to get yours reserved, call 417-543-2361. That's 543-2361 for Douglas County Dumpsters, LLC. And we're wishing good luck to our Ava Bears. Do you have new construction or remodeling needs? Reed's Construction can take care of you. We're family owned, operated, and insured. You can check us out on Facebook at Reed's Construction LLC. If you have questions about our services or would like an estimate, give us a call at 417-543-2063. Again, that's 417-543-2063. Don't get framed by the competition. Trust our reputation. It's as solid as concrete. Go away for bears. Out of the timeout, third down. And four. Coach Merrifield maybe not liking the alignment he's seen there. On the Liberty front, they got five down linemen. It will be a quarterback keeper, Aiden Lane. He spin moves, tries to get the first down, and I think does. Right around the 20-yard line. Really close. That'll be under three minutes, and it is going to be a first down that'll stop the clock momentarily. So big run right there, and Aiden Lane being a difference maker here so far for the Bears with his feet. Yeah, he has 91 yards to lead the Bears rushing in this first half. I'd love to see that. New set of downs here. This is the best drive so far tonight for Ava. Hunter Adams gets upended and a minimal gain there for Hunter. And it, it's been some tough running the last few weeks for Adams. It really has. He's taken some shots. You know, you think about those goal line stands that Logan Rogersville made in the first half. And basically that point forward, it, it's not been the big... Uh, 40, 50, 60, 70 yard play ability, which we know Hunter's got, but boy, teams just really selling out on making anybody but number three beat them. Yeah, he's getting no space. 
Here's Merritt on the counter, top side of the field. His best run of the night. He gets close to a first down. Big hit. And that'll move the chains once again for a first down. Doc Hall here with a great stat off the top of the head. You know, your numbers, Aiden Lane, three weeks combined held under 100 yards rushing. And right now, Lane right is the difference yeah. for the Ava offense in this game. First and goal from the nine. Man goes in motion. It'll be a caper. One lane once again tried to spin off tacklers and gets down to about the five, maybe the four. So Aiden, you can just kind of see it looks like his confidence is rising here as we go through this task. Yeah, gain of four and a half, maybe five. And, you know, with all the attention that Hunter Adams, he always, he's gotten attention, don't get me wrong, the last couple of years, but uh, teams have really been doing good up the middle against the Bears. So Lane and Merritt going to have to make a difference. Under a minute to play, it will be Lane on the keep. Once again, getting into the end zone. Touchdown, AVA, the flex mode, read option. Lane doing a great job here in the first half, and is that – is that his first rushing touchdown of the season? I believe it is. Let me check on that. That's a five-yard run. And going back to Buffalo, yeah, that is his first rushing touchdown and a nice decision to keep it. Everyone. Yeah, there, there was over six minutes on the clock when this drive yeah. started. So Coach Merrifield there got to be very pleased how that went down. There'll be a handoff to Adams trying to get to the goal line and does oh, not man. get it. Bear stopped on the two point again. But their first lead of the night, 50 seconds left. First half, Ava 12, Liberty 6. Hi, I'm Katie Luckfield, owner and pharmacist of Ava Rx. You're carrying hometown pharmacy. As a busy mom, I know how important convenience and fast service is, especially when a loved one is sick. That's why we offer drive through, in town delivery, and we make all those calls you shouldn't have to. And we are always happy to take care of you. Making the changes easy, just give us a call at 683-9550 or come see us behind Subway. Looking forward to taking care of you for many years to come. Let's go, Ava Bears! It's Five Girls in a Chainsaw, LLC. Your locally owned tree trimming and removal service. Do you have limbs down in your yard from storm damage? Well, we can help. We're fully insured and there is no job that's too large or small. Give Billy a call at 683-0704-417. 683-0704. Five Girls in a Chainsaw, LLC. DJ Ron is on his A game tonight so far here at Sylvie Field C. Harlan Stadium. Third home game in a row here in the regular season. I don't know that that has ever happened, truthfully. That next year, it'll be three yeah, games. Yeah, it's going to feel the exact opposite. That drive, though, 76 yards in uh, just over five minutes. So a really nice job by the Bears offense. Here is a kick down the field. Long one fielded at the 10. They'll reverse field come to the near side. This is Shar on the return and has space, has a crease, and it's a big run. Big collision right there. Oliver Williams and Hunter Adams. Ooh. That was a hit, but not before a huge return. And now Liberty with 39 seconds left. They've got all their timeouts. I think so that was a that that return could hurt. Yeah, they're going to have a chance. Oliver Williams took maybe the worst of that hit as Hunter Adams came in hard and I think caught more of Williams than the Eagle there. So the Eagles now looking towards the sideline. They will bunch in all the receivers close to the line. Reese back in the shotgun where he's been all night. He's back to pass. Throws it out the flat. Caught by Shar. And it's a first down and more. Stiff arms Abraham. Abraham, though, brings him down. They're in Ava territory at the 40-yard line. 33 seconds on the clock. Liberty timeout. They've got a chance thanks to the big kick return. Ava leading 12-6. 
PC Express of Ava is here to help with your PC repairs and services. We also do BNT loans and FedEx shipping. So stop by 204 Springfield Road here in Ava, Missouri, and take a look at some of our fishing and hunting supplies as well. Stop in or call us today, 417-683-2022. That's 683-2022. And good luck to the Ava Bears. Hello, this is Colton at Long Dollar Furniture and Appliances. Stop by and see all the great sales we have going on right now on our showroom floor. Score a touchdown on the deals we have with living room furniture and appliances. Come see our selection from the bedroom to the kitchen. We have your furniture and appliance upgrades ready for you to take home today. At Long Dollar Furniture and Appliance, where saving money matters. Liberty, a big kickoff return of about 35 yards. They're in Ava territory now. After a first down, 33 seconds on the clock. Same play right out of the flat. Shar makes the guy miss and is on his feet now, knocked out of bounds. And the Ava Bears, it almost looked like the secondary guys there expecting Shar to try to get out of bounds, and he cut it up in and picked up an extra 10 to 15 yards on the run. Yeah, another nice play by Shar. Shar is really impressing me tonight. He was an all-SCA receiver last year as well. Very shifty, very good, and all of a sudden, this good end of the half is in question now. Haven't called Parker Toon's name in a while. Look out for him here as they get close to the goal line. Now they spread everybody out. 26 seconds on the clock. Reese with it, rolling out to his right. Churchill chasing him. Tosses up a jump ball for Toon in the end zone. Did he get his feet in? Dang. They say it's out of bounds. Double coverage and Toon trying some toe drag swag as the kids say they're along the back boundary of the end zone and he almost somehow came through with that you know you said the kids say that i haven't heard that yet but i like that they're gonna start saying it that was very Ooh. very close boy it almost looked like that right foot still had a little bit of grass when he came down with it thankful for that one now Reese will roll to his left, sets his feet, throws a bullet, and it bounces in, incomplete. And 13 seconds now on the clock, and it'll be third and 10. Now we haven't seen Liberty attempt any extra points. I didn't see him do any kicking before the game, so you got to feel like they're thinking they've got two downs to try to get in the end zone here. Yep, yep. 13 seconds left, but they still have two timeouts. So they could catch something around the 10-15 probably and get down. That is an excellent point. Mm. The timeout's a luxury here this late in the first half. Third and 10. Crowd starting to get loud. Back in shotgun. Reese throws it across the middle and it is caught. Quick tackle and they'll take a timeout. It was Parker Toon on the reception. Not enough for a first down. So it'll be fourth down coming up. Ball at about the 18 yard line with six seconds left. Ava trying to take a lead into the locker room. For local and long distance towing, it's Ed's Towing. Now serving Douglas County and the surrounding areas of Cos Country. From big rigs to personal vehicles, cars and trucks, we do it all. Ed's Towing, 24-7 towing service, 417-926-5437. That's 417-926-5437. Call who you know when you need a tow. Ed's Towing, now serving all of Cause Country for your towing needs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Now, how lucky do you feel? Technically, you could do something quick, an out, a slant, something in the flat, pick up the first down and have a second or two yeah. to run one more. You still got one time out of here, the Eagles. Or do you take your shot now into the end zone? I think, I think I'd take my shot right now. Six seconds is kind of in that in-between zone of will you run out of time? We'll see. Cowbells are out. Drifts to the top side of the field. Reese will roll out that way. Now looks back the other side. It's a throwback pass. Triple coverage. Oh and he fights for my. it. And he catches yeah. it. Touchdown. Parker Toon 
pulling off an OBJ-like maneuver with triple coverage in the end zone. That man is a dude, and Liberty could take the lead into the locker room. Oh, my goodness. How did he come up with that? I have no idea. 18 yards there on the touchdown pass, and if you're the Bears in coverage, any three of them, you just got to knock that down. That's oh. strong. It almost looked like Merritt got a hand on it. There was a slight bobble. The play design, a good one there for the Eagles. Toon will go in motion. Reese rolls out to his left, throws it to Toon, and he's in. And Liberty, with no time on the clock here in the first half, takes the lead and a little life out of this stadium into the locker room. Our score, Eagles 14. Ava, 12. We are the UTEC Land Team, your local whitetail properties, land specialist in southwest Missouri. As an Ava resident and landowner, I specialize in selling hunting land, ranches, farms, and country homes. Our team has over 20 years' experience, and we are the number one land sales team in the Midwest. I have the experience and expertise that you need to get the most out of your property. If you're thinking about selling, I would love the opportunity to help you. Give me a call today at 417-766-5595 or visit whitetailproperties.com. Go Bears. I hope you're enjoying your Ava Bear football. I want to invite you to join us at the Ava Assembly of God Church. Our service times Sunday are 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Wednesday night, we'd love to have your whole family out at 7 p.m. September 15th, we will be starting a young adult study. From nursery to youth, we have something for everybody. It's a place to find, know, and serve God. Come join us at Ava Assembly of God Church. Hello, Bear fans. This is Garrett Chapman at Century Bank of the Ozarks. At Century Bank, we are a true community bank for your way of life. Since 1894, Century Bank of the Ozarks has maintained its reputation of friendly service and quick local decision making. Stop in and let our friendly staff introduce you to our outstanding banking products and services. Banking decisions made at the local level right here at home. That's Century Bank of the Ozarks, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Forge and Build is your community hardware store where you can find great tools, building materials, and expert advice. You can trust that when you leave at Forge and Build, you're ready to take on any job. With convenient locations in Ava and Seymour, Gainesville and Mansfield. Oh, and did we mention we offer job site delivery too. Stop by and see us in Ava, Seymour, Gainesville, Mansfield or visit forgeandbuild.com. We found halftime. The Ava Bears in conflict. Time for Cooper to settle out and sort the statistics. Meanwhile, Joe and Greg from Davis Auto Sales sort out the halftime show on the best radio of the Ozarks. Cause AM and FM. It was a 6-6 six to six ball game with a minute left in the first half, and we have two touchdowns, and the difference right now, a two-point conversion. Liberty leading 14-12 to 12 here at the break. It is now time for the Davis Auto Sales Halftime Show, and we kick it once again to our good friends, Joe Corm, Greg Davis. All right, Greg, we're headed into halftime. i got to ask you about last, last week's ball game. Before we do about anything else here at the halftime, Davis Auto Sales Halftime Report, uh, were you as nervous as I was at the uh, end of that thing? If you look, I have no fingernails left. I mean, the last two weeks have been nail biters. It's pretty tough here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Davis Auto Sales, for the last 5,000 years, Greg and I have been tooling around doing football games and, and at halftime talking about Davis Auto Sales, which we got to do. And tooling around means, uh, Greg, you, you'd show up at the house normally and we'd hop in some hot, nice vehicle and we'd drive at the game and you'd tell them all the about it at halftime. Well, we're driving around in a doozy tonight. We are. 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now, this is a limited. Yeah, it's loaded. You know, we're talking four-wheel drive with the V6 engine, just 126,000 miles here, but we're talking leather, power sunroof. How about 18-inch uh, aluminum wheels? The backup camera has, now get this, front power seats. Now, we're talking both driver Both and passenger. Both of them. Yeah. And heated seats, not only in the front, but also in the rear. In the back, too. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
And when it comes to the four-wheel drive system, it's got quadra track two, four-wheel drive with selector track. Now, what is selector track? Joe, selector track, you see these buttons here in the center yeah, of the console? Yeah, yeah. It says auto, snow, sand, oh, mud. Oh, no. Rock. Is that what that really means? And that's what it is. You just dial well, it to where you're at. What if you don't know what you're in? Leave it in auto, and okay. it'll do it all by itself. Now, it also has Bluetooth. How about that voice-activated telephone, you know? You just I say, love that. Yeah. Just I love say, that. Say, say, Joe, you'd be saying, call Vicky, and he'll oh, call Vicky boom, for you. It's like that. Yeah, wow. yeah. And we're better off, can you, right now. Yeah. Can you look at this? Yeah. Autos by Davis. You go right on uh, instantly. There it is. While we're talking here, you go, autosbydavis.com, and there we are. Yeah, pull With your that. cell phone out. Yeah, right now. You can see, but I've got 31 pictures online. 31 pictures. You can see 31 now, pictures This of is it. a dandy, isn't it? it what is. color is it? It's black. It's black. No yeah. wonder I had a hard time seeing it in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, a uh, phone number for more details. 417-683-1988. Go online. Autos by Davis. Look it all over. All right, Cooper and Greg, I can see them over there just working, trying to figure out, get all those numbers right now. Boy, they're doing a good job. They are. They're, they're doing a fantastic up. job. Da Boy. Da Davis Auto Sales. Hope we make it home. What year was that? 2015. Jeep. Grand, Grand Cherokee. Cherokee. I love it. Davis Auto Sales. Ava Moser. Hi, folks. This is Jay Loveland of Jay Loveland Auto Sales, and I'd like to invite you all to our new setup in Mountain Grove. We have a great inventory of affordable cars, trucks, and SUVs conveniently located right next to Walmart and Burger King. Find us also online at jaylovelandautosales.com or 417-349-4444. And remember, at Jay Loveland Auto Sales, we always do the right thing. Here at United Country Area Land Realty, we understand the desire to live in the Ozarks. Locals are wanting to buy new property, and people from all over the country are wanting to experience what Missouri has to offer. We have years of experience selling land, houses, farms, and commercial properties. Give us a call today at 417-683-2840. That's United Country Area Land Realty, 417-683-2840. Discover the benefits of Home Pride Bank's Kasasa Cash Checking. Checking that pays back. Earn up to 5.25% APY with our free checking account and enjoy no minimum balance, no maintenance fees, and nationwide ATM fee refunds. Keep more of your money and earn more on it, too. For more information, call 855-4HP-BANK or visit us today. Restrictions apply. Visit HomePrideBank.com for details. Member FDIC. Half time here at Sylvie Field, and we talked about it all week. Talked about it in the pregame show with the doctors and Coach Merrifield, and boy, had two crazy, thrilling, fingernail biting games week two and week three. And we look to be heading towards something similar here, Cooper, on the final play of the first half an 18 yard pass play from Reese to Tune. And let's not forget set up by the big 35-yard kick return there by the Eagles special teams to help them get down the field. And Coop, how's the numbers look here? First All half. right, let's start with Liberty. Um, Rushing-wise, Rutledge, five carries, 27 yards. Shar one carry for four yards, so only 31 yards rushing. The problem is the passing game. Reese is nine for 14 with 144 yards and two touchdowns. Shar has five catches for 51 yards. Rodriguez, one catch for 12. And Toon has five catches for 81 yards and two touchdowns, including that score right there to kind of walk off into halftime. For the Bears, Adams, 15 carries, 64 yards and a touchdown. Lane, eight carries for 100 yards and a touchdown. First time Lane's gone over 100 this year, and it was in the first half. Nice start there. Merritt, four carries for eight yards. Hutchinson, 
one carry for seven yards. Lobb, one carry for zero yards for a total of 179 rush. Lane through the air, 0 for 2, one interception. Ava, three turnovers in that first half. Uh, total yards, Ava leads 179 to 175. So that matches up with how close this has been. And uh, got to make some adjusting, adjustments in the secondary for the Bears. If you listen to our pregame show on Cause Radio, Coach Merrifield talking, I said, what have we learned about our team the first couple of weeks? And he said that these kids, when things aren't looking good, time's getting tough, game maybe look bleak, they're making the adjustments at the halftime, they're executing them, so you're going to have to try to pull off something similar here. And boy, that play design, that final play of the first half as Reese gets all the flow and everything going to the right outside of the field. And then Toon, who started on an inside slot position up top, goes up and runs all the way across the other side, a backside almost drag there. And Reese, the arm strength and two to somehow catch it in triple coverage. Yeah, man. And again, all set up by the big kickoff return. So got a dandy here. First half from Sylvie Field, C. Harlan Stadium. Our score, Liberty 14, Ava 12. A funeral service is for someone you love and to honor their life. And yes, it is for those who remain. I'm Tony Clinking Bear Van Dyne, and at Clinking Bear Funeral Home, we've spent over 100 years serving your family with care. Our qualified and experienced staff will offer you compassionate and professional service in your time of need. A century of service, one family, four generations, and just one phone call can provide you the answers so much needed. 683-4115. When it comes to your feed and farm supply needs, they do have it all for you at Hirsch Feed and Farm Supply. Open Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Whether you're a generational farmer or a hobby farmer, we've got you covered at Hirsch Feed and Farm. Hirsch Feed and Farm Supply since 1974. Hirsch Feed and Farm Supply, we're more than a farm store. It's the Brian Adams Agency, LLC, your brand new American Family Insurance Agent, office located in Mansfield, Missouri. At American Family Insurance, life's better when you're protected under our roof. Needing a quote? Contact Brian Adams to see what he can do for you. Hi, this is Brian Adams, new American Family Agent in Mansfield, Missouri. Give me a call at 417-924-3216. It's the Central Ozark Stockyards, located just eight miles south of Ava off of Highway 5. And we hope to see you Mondays at the Sale Barn. Sale beginning every Monday at 11 a.m. For questions, consignments, or to schedule a farm visit, please call Marty, 417-274-7719, or Andy at 417-280-0755. Central Ozark Stockyards, sales every Monday, proud to support the Ava Bears. Ava R1 School announcing a PTO family movie night. It is a drive-in style with a classic movie, Rock-A-Doodle. On the playground, bring lawn chairs and blankets. Students will be bringing home pre-sale purchase forms. It's $1 per ticket or $5 per family. Concessions will be available and it's $2 per ticket at the door. It will be Friday, September 27th. Gates open at 7 and the movie will start at 7 30 PTO family movie night at the Ava R1 schools. When you're injured, when you're accused, or when it's time to get your personal and business affairs in order, it's the Wade Law Office. You need experienced representation. 25 years. The Wade Law Office LLC on the Ava Square, West Side. When you need help, Chris Way at the Wade Law Office, 25 years serving those in cause country. We are at the Davis Auto Sales halftime show here, folks. And boy, these home games right now, you have certainly gotten your admissions worth here over these first three weeks of the season. Rogersville, week two, went down to the wire. Mountain Grove last week went down to the final play. 
And boy, they're the final play of the first half. And, uh, and Cooper, you were talking about, man, momentum changed big time there. Yeah, and we were talking over the break after the touchdown with 50 seconds left for the Bears. You kind of said, well, that kind of relaxes me a little bit. And then as you alluded to, the kickoff return and in 50 seconds, Liberty able to score and then a big two-point conversion. And here we are down two at the half. And the two-point play, the difference right now. And so the Bears, they've had to do this last couple of half times, make some adjustments. So Coach Merrifield, Coach Baird right now doing a lot of talking with positional groups. And I imagine the secondary getting some talking to as well as we are here at the break. What a triple coverage yeah. and the catch being made. Just the tune kid, folks. He's impressive if you haven't figured that out yet already. Uh, Royals right now, they are losing in their ball game. Uh, but right now, also, knock on wood, Detroit losing okay. and Minnesota okay. losing. So that's what the Royals are fighting yeah. through right now. Big weekend series on Cos Radio. You'll be able to hear it. And then we've got Mizzou and Vandy tomorrow. We've got Missouri State making the trip to University of Tennessee Martin, I believe, for a big game there. And then the Chiefs, it's a late night. There in Atlanta on Sunday night as Mahomes getting to play indoors, which usually has some good success doing. Yeah, that'll be a fun one. Uh, scoring updates, um, Farm Bureau Insurance update here. Lamar trailing at the half to Cassville. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. What did you say? Mm-hmm. Lamar trailing at the half to Cassville, 20-18. to 18, And some shocking faces on that one. Yeah, that's that's a big time shocking score. What else you got? Houston forty nine zero over Kabul, so they are wow. rolling. So Houston talked about it in the pregame, one of the surprises so far in the SCA, and they're uh, the Texas County Showdown firmly in control yeah. right now with Houston, who's looking to go four zero on the season. Fair leading Salem forty six zero, and then. 28-0 Mountain Grove leading in the second. Okay, and that's against Willow Springs yes. there, Farm Bureau Insurance. Sure. Uh, Springfield Cardinals, you know, on um, bids for bargains with us a number of years. I'm sure Tyson's doing tons of scoreboard watching yeah. and such there as they're playing the big playoff game. What's the situation there? So I think they're trying to play for the championship series. If they win tonight, this is the final game. It's game three of three. And if they win, they'll go there for the second or third time ever. So a pretty big deal. And I'm sure Tyson wishes he could be two places at once. Uh, he, he probably a night he wishes he could be cloned for sure. So right now at the half, folks, it's another nail biter. Get that blood pressure medicine checked and refilled. Our score, it's Liberty 14, Ava 12. While enjoying your Ava Bear football, I would like to invite you to join us at Ava Assembly of God Church. Our service times are Sundays, 9 and 11 a.m. Wednesday nights, you can bring the whole family. And starting September 15th, we'll have a young adults Bible study. From nursery to youth, we have something for everyone. It's a place to find God, know God, and serve God. Come join us at Ava Assembly of God Church. It's a great year to be different. Kick off your financial game plan with Town & Country Bank. As your trusted community partner, we're here to help you tackle everything from savings accounts to home loans. With personalized service and local expertise, we're committed to helping you reach your financial goals. Join our winning team today because at Town & Country Bank, your success is always our goal member FDIC. Are you buying, selling, refinancing? Well, Mill Country Title has locations in Ava and Gainesville to help you with title insurance, deed preparation, refinance loan closings, and real estate contracts closings as well. Mill Country Title in Ava is located at 307 Springfield Road and phone number 417-683-1907 and phone number in Gainesville is 417-679-2107 for Mill country title new hardware store in ava barto ace hardware is now open monday through friday from 7 a.m to 6 30 and on saturdays 8 a.m to 6 p.m and mark your calendars for the grand opening on october 11th and 12th they will be giving away ace hardware gift cards huge prizes on raffles and signing up ace hardware reward members for 10 percent off purchases barto ace hardware happy to be in the ava community 
and ready to help you with your projects. Hey, this is Jessica at j &L Tire, your one-stop shop for tire needs in Douglas County. We also do vehicle inspections, oil changes, and service calls to fix your flat here local. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Open Saturday, 8 to 2. We want to earn your business at j &L Tire. We treat you right. 417-683-1551. That's 417-683-1551 for j &L Tire. Today is the day. After countless hours of research, cutting back expenses, and nine months of anxiously waiting for her, today is the day you finally bring home your new car. It's also the day to protect her with an auto policy from Shelter Insurance. Our policies are competitively priced and include new car replacement coverage if anything were to happen to your new baby. Contact your new shelter insurance agent, Nava Katrina Holt, 683-4417. Hi everybody, this is Heston Fish, owner and operator of Fish Logging. In the logging industry, there are many methods and processes. My method is simply timber management. Call me if you want to keep your forest as forest. No clear cutting. I am confident when I say I can provide the very best markets in walnut, white oak, and red oak. My number one goal is to provide a good logging experience for you and clear communication. Please give me a call at 417-543-0506. Go Bears. One of my favorite commercials there that we do on Cos Radio. Yelling timber <laughs> at fish logging. Halftime 14 to 12 here as the Bears come out of the locker room. They'll do a little stretching and agility sears. Calisthenics to get the blood going again. And Cooper, we uh, entered this. Getting uh, some nice respect as far as the state rankings go. And, uh, again, big game and not just the conference, but district as well. Yeah, looking at those state rankings, Lamar in the first spot. Fairgrove, who we've talked a lot about uh, in our district. They're in the two spot. Bowling Green in the three. Valley Catholic four. And then your Ava Bears in the five. But going to have to figure some things out tonight to stay there. Yes, definitely. Work cut out for him. And Dr. Valentine, Dr. Hall, if you're not listening to Football Night in Cause Country, I say this each and every week, but you're just doing yourself a disservice on being informed about yeah. what's going on because they go over that formula. And if both teams, they even Fairgrove, went out because of Fairgrove playing a Class 5 team, as Dr. Valentine explained it, pretty much impossible for the Bears to jump fair growth. And it's true. I know you're talking about saying that every week about football night in cause country. Even though we couldn't get graced by the Liberty head coach this week, still got a really good interview on uh, that program. Yes, Gary Lee there helping us out. And uh, hard to talk there with Coach Acklin because uh, eh, we won't go there. Fair Grove, you see in the top spot there in the district standings, Ava number two, Houston number three, Liberty four, Clever five, Thayer six, Willow seven, and Springfield Catholic eight. Second half up next, Ava will receive the kickoff. And our score, Liberty 14, Ava 12. PDK Customs offers custom fabrication, welding, fleet maintenance, sleeper conversions, frame stretchings for big rigs, and mechanic service for most heavy equipment. PDK Customs is located on Old Highway 5 in Ava. Their phone number is 417-250-0892. That's 417-250-0892. And wishing the Ava Bears good luck this season. Cover more ground with the fast durable Kubota Sidekick featuring a gas-powered engine that delivers a top speed of 40 miles per hour, best-in-class acceleration and handling with cargo, and the strength to haul with needs hauling, all backed by a two-year, 1,000-hour warranty. Get more done right with the Kubota Sidekick. Visit your local Kubota dealer today. Go to KubotaUSA.com for full disclaimer. This is Levy at Schnurfy Goods. Do you have an event coming up with nothing to wear? Don't go naked. Schnurfy Goods has an outfit for you. You will leave feeling and looking schnurfy for every occasion. That's Schnurfy Goods Boutique and Mercantile, located on the north side of the Ava Square. Open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m.
Royals still trailing 1-0 to the San Francisco Giants. They're now in the bottom of the fifth. There, Detroit Tigers losing 7-0, and the Twins have tied it up 1-1 in their ball game. And I got to say, Royals, uh, I hope and pray they don't choke away this lead they had over the last couple weeks of the season. But at least it's September 20th, and I'm talking about yeah. the Royals at a playoff race, Cooper. It matters. Here's a short kick, and it'll be fielded by Hutch. Cross the 20 and out of bounds at the 26. And that'll be Ava's first possession. You know, we've seen it Hutch on that opening possession of the Bears. And kind of wonder there if maybe the shins bother him a little bit and just uh, kind of making the coach's decision there to just keep him for defense right now. He's still short browning. And, of course, Ryder Johnson not in there as well. And on the offensive line, Siler Willis also unavailable tonight. So Thomas Brown and the freshman, Trulio, playing big snaps here in this game. They have a first and 10. And it will be a quarterback yes. deeper than a pitch to Merritt. Oh. And, man, top side of the field. And we each thought, oh, yes, yeah. good decision. But, man, Liberty closed it quick. And I think he had a, just a split second. If that gets there just a split second earlier, he might have been able to get to the outside and have all kinds of running room. But, again, pretty good coverage for Liberty. And same thing I've said to start the second half and late in the games the last two weeks. Who's going to step up this week for the Bears? Second down and 10. And it'll be Lane on the keeper across the 30. Has a close to a first down. He got tripped up right around the 35, 36 yard line. And they will mark him about a half yard shy, it looks like, of the first down. Yeah, gain of nine. And another nice run for Aiden Lane, who is up to 109 yards rushing. Third and short. And we're actually going to have a measurement, so we'll take a timeout. Third and short or first and ten. Did you know that Whitetail Properties Real Estate offers auctions? My name is Mike Harris, your local partner with the Ranch and Farm Auction Division. To sell hunting land, ranches, farmland, and country homes, utilizing our network of buyers and investors with a premier marketing campaign, we bring more competition on auction day. To see if an auction is the right selling option for you, give me a call at 417-234-7654 or visit ranchandfarmauctions.com. Go Bears. We are stretching it out. Oh, man. <laughs> and it's going to be maybe by the nose. <laughs> I've not seen I that happen know. too much. Third and short. I've not seen the ref ever, I don't think, roll the ball quicker to the sticks. They got Mike Martin out there on the chain game tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's really, yeah, I agree. That was odd for him to move the ball like that. But, uh, it was really, really close. So I don't blame him. So third and short. Literally just five or six inches short, if that. And Adams the dive, and it's tough to keep Hunter. Hunter shy by a few inches. And it's a first down to move the chains. Yeah, a gain of just maybe one and a half that time, but that's all we needed. And once again this week, Hunter Adams has just 65 yards on the ground. It, uh, the defensive strategy, it seems like, with the teams we've seen lately, is anybody but Adams. Yep. Aiden Lane right now. Could it be his night? Lane will be on the keeper. Nice jump step, and he's got close to a first Lane. down on Aiden Lane. Another good run there for the Bears' junior quarterback. Yeah, gain of seven, I think, and that time he stayed inside and had much more space. As the game wears on here, you just kind of see the decisiveness, the quickness, and the confidence 
building with Lang. And I'd guess at halftime, there was a conversation had, like, look, you're going to have to make some big plays in the second half. And he keeps it here. High steps, man, spin moves off, and oh my <laughs> goodness, what a hit. And I think they're going to call a helmet to helmet, perhaps, on Shar. shar has been headhunting all night. That's not the first high hit he has uh, delivered. First time he's been called, though. He got Lane earlier, and he's gotten Merritt with a high hit as well. All right. Can I be completely transparent and honest? They are taking the flag away. If I'm not, if you and I just came down from Springfield to do the color commentary and play-by-play -play for the game, man, I think that's just a football play and a big hit. Yeah. And the officials uh, agree with you. Not initially, but after a, a talk, they do. Aiden Lane, that could not have felt very well. No. Ball is in Liberty territory, though. First and 10. Lane will keep it again. And another hit. And boy, right now, that was Rutledge that got him. So Lane, the Liberty defense saying, all right, if the quarterback's going to keep it, let's start bringing the hammer here. Oh, yeah. They've delivered some big hits. And. We can't give that Sheriff the Gates t-shirt to the opposing team, but that's one of the biggest hits I've seen on the season from anybody. Yeah. And it just two yards right there for Lane. Second down and eight. Inside nine minutes here, third quarter. Davis first touch of the football, and it'll be Adams and keeps the legs fighting and grinding for whatever he could get. And gets to about the 45, maybe the 44-yard line. Yeah, a gain of three yards and another tough three. And I will say tonight, I think this Liberty defense is more physical than years past. I don't know if you'd agree with that uh, statement. I would say that is a correct assessment. And, uh, of course, Jansen Acklin, the coach now, I think this is his second year. I think he's the second oldest of Darren's in the Ever-growing Ackland coaching tree. There's another Ackland there also on the staff. Here's a handoff to Adams, spinning, keeping the legs going forward, and he'll get close to the 40, and that's going to make it a big fourth down here, Cooper. Fourth and a good full yard. Good gain of four right there, and definitely going for it. Of course you would. So... Right now, you need Thomas Brown, Mason Trulio, Logan Churchill, Ryan Corrigan, Stewart. They need these guys up front to make a hole here. Fourth and short. It'll be Lane oh, on the no. keeper, and he doesn't get it. Turnover on downs. Liberty guesses right. Bears guess wrong. Liberty football next. Hello, this is Kara Sweeney. And Gabe and Sweeney. From Sweeney Family Dental. My dad is patient and he is good at listening to all your needs. That's right, Jabin. Hey, did you know that 50% of all heart attacks and strokes are caused by bad bacteria in the mouth? Yep, dad told me. That's why he started offering saliva tests for his patients. Come and see my dad. I know you will like him. We are just off the square in Ava, and if nothing else, remember... Dad is gentle at Sweeney Family Dental. Even if Aiden Lane doesn't slip, I'm not sure he's going to get the first down. So Liberty now on offense. Rutledge up the middle, and he is tripped up on the play by Leroy Hornick. Haven't called Leroy's name. Yeah, been quiet Too much tonight. in this game, which when you're facing against a big old spread passing attack team... Does a number on your middle linebackers. And and look at Gavin Reese's jersey. It's not dirty at all. He's uh, been able to get rid of it quick. He does not have a rushing attempt either, and that's kind of surprising. You know, he's listed as an athlete, meaning he likes to do a little bit of everything. But a clean jersey, not a good thing for a quarterback of the other team to have in no. the third quarter. The Bears have had a couple opportunities to get at him, and he's been able to slither through high snap Rutledge there able to go. get it but that high Rutledge snap broke up the timing of the play Churchill back there Hornick and Noah Cook and it's a third and about six maybe seven and six and a half minutes left this is a big drive Cooper oh yeah yeah and we're again for the third week in a row to the point of the game where 
Every play is magnified. Every play is huge. And another one here. Liberty. Tune, you got to know where he is with the five catches and two touchdowns in the first half. Six minutes on the clock. Third and six. We got a whistle. And what's this going to be? Water timeout. <laughs> Boy, they picked the most <laughs> auspicious <laughs> opportunities to do that. Why did they wait till the play clock's running down? Well, let's get a drink of water. Timeout on the field. At Rick's Roofing, we have expanded our business. We are now dozing for timber and other excavating work. Skid steer work, some brush hogging, brush mulching. Also, helping you build your driveway, building houses or shop pads. Backhoe work, septic work, and dump truck gravel hauling. Free quotes. And, of course, we're still taking care of your roofing needs, too. 683-8081. That's 683-8081 for Rick's Roofing, LLC. Very big play coming up here. Cooper, third and six. And Liberty doesn't necessarily have to commit to throwing the football here. No, but I have a feeling they will. (laughs) But, you know, like, I'd almost be tempted to try to do a draw with Rutledge and get it in uh, fourth and short or maybe pick up first down that way. Yeah. But when you got a guy like Toon and an arm like Reese... They roll out here to the bottom. Rolls out, throws it in the flat, and did he stay in uh, bounds? The official's going to say he did. Uh, it's Shar on the completion, and he had to absolutely toe tap, walk the tightrope to get his feet in there. Yeah, gain of 11. Nice play design, and another nice throw from Reese. Aiden Lane was in coverage, and Reese, this is just making a great throw and a great catch. And they say that he got one of those toes in bounds. Big first to 10 pickup for the Eagles. Now they're on the move in Ava territory. Ball at the 46 yard line under the six minute mark. Reese claps, gets the handoff. Rutledge, Ryan Corrigan is there. And Hunter Adams and they'll bring him down after a minimal game. And they have a rush defense so far, holding up pretty well. Yeah, only 31 yards rushing at the half for Liberty, and that's just a gain of two. And it's that passing game from Gavin Reese. And credit Shar and Toon, too. Though They've both been really good. Yeah, and they've sprinkled in Rodriguez every now and then. Uh, they've got multiple weapons you got to account for. Reese, play action pass. Hornet puts a big hit. It's deep, though, for Shar, and he catches it. And, man, looks like we had decent position, but don't get turned around to realize that the football is right there. Gain of 35. Hornick with the huge hit and lane right here. A little peek back, and I think you can get a deflection on that. So the big pass play. Gets it down to the eight-yard line, maybe nine, and it's first and goal for the Eagles. And Reese started this part. And Jacob Lobb with a touchdown saving tackle, and they'll get to the five. Second down and goal. And on that last pass play, I was saying, yeah, because they finally hit uh, the quarterback, Gavin Reese. Leroy Hornick hit him hard, but... Uh, you know, Liberty will take a gain of 35 on that same play. So, Two receivers way up top. Rutledge beside Reese. And Rutledge will get the carry. Kind of a slow developing run, but Rutledge keeping right. his feet going. They keep pushing the pile and get oh, down to the one. Down and down right the there, that was just some grit and toughness by Rutledge and Liberty line to keep the pile moving forward. Now they're going to go hurry up, and I bet you they feed the big fella again. I think he's earned it after that run right there. Third and goal from the one. Back to Reese. Off to Rutledge. He's in. Touchdown. And the Eagles now can make this a two-score game. Hmm. This becomes crucial. Boy, how good and relaxed was we feeling when we were leading 12 to 6 with 50 seconds left in the second quarter? Yep. 
This one has turned in the wrong way here. Two-point conversion makes this a two-score game. This is Huge. the play of the game right now. Reese rolling out to his left. Pressure on, throws it, and over the head of two. So the Bears keep it a one-score game. It's an eight-point lead for Liberty, 354 third quarter, 20-12. Comprehensive retirement planning involves more than product recommendations. It's helping clients file for Social Security to best fit their needs, changing insurances from employer to individual or Medicare plans, and involves enhanced planning with a will, a trust, and powers of attorney. Hi, I'm Joe Latour with Latour Asset Management. If you'd like help creating, maintaining, or a second opinion Opinion on your comprehensive retirement plan, visit our website at latourasset.com or give us a call today at 417-683-9553 and have a great day. Investment advisory services offered through Latour Asset Management, LLC, an investment advisor in the states of Missouri, Arkansas, Alaska, and Texas. This is Travis Smith, state rep of the 155th district. I coach for nearly 20 years and I know the value of athletics in our community. Just want to say Go away the Bears, and good luck this season and in the playoffs. Well, Ava Bears, once again, we've seen this the last two weeks where there were moments in the second half where things looked pretty dark. Yeah. And it's the darkest moment thus far in this game, trailing by eight. And this also, Cooper, Correct me if I'm wrong, the largest deficit the Bears have had on this season. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If that two-point conversion goes in, it's definite danger zone still. Got to pick it up right here. Ball picked up. Oh, no, stumbled by Hutch, and he picks it up at his own goal line. He's got a long way to run and not many blockers in front, and he's tackled and knocked down at the 16-yard line. And the Bears offense, boy, we got to have it right now. We've seen turnovers, fumbles, interceptions, turnover on downs, and really need them to put something together here. Yep, giving Liberty every chance to take control of this game, and now they have as we're under four minutes to go in the third quarter, and Ava backed up to their own 16 with that uh, muffed kickoff per se. And I'm not sure. Both of our touchdowns tonight, I think, came on loss of downs and a Liberty turnover. So we've yet to show we can drive the full length of the field and score here in this game. Adams gets off to a good start for the Bears. Gain of about five. And still, though, tonight, you know, Hunter had the 24-yard touchdown run, but you take that away. And it, it has been yardage hard to come by yeah good point that's by far his biggest run of the night was that touchdown run everything else is three four five six yards pretty bottled up they've again down two starting offensive linemen in the game young guys though doing the best they can here's a pitch play top side of the field dangerous pitch and thomas merritt Boy, he's been kind of a race tonight Merit, Merit. by the Liberty defense. And Marin, who we've seen have big gains, especially the first couple of weeks. And even the counter plays and the option pitch plays, there's not much out there for Thomas. Yeah, he has seven carries for 15 yards, so just over two yards per carry. And a big third down right here, because if you don't get much... Do you dare go for it in your own territory? I don't know. Third and three. Big play. Uh, Lane busted play. No one was there. He's fun to try to get close. He's going to be well shy of a first down and miscommunication there. We read the wristband wrong because Lane went to either fake a handoff or give it off, and there was no one there. And Lane's taking some hits now in this ballgame. This is by far the most he's carried a football on the season and boy like fourth and about a yard and a half at your own 25 and ava lines up to go will we try to get liberty to jump no they go for it handoff adams i don't know if he's gonna get it referees giving us a great spot boy liberty initially was fired up thinking they had stopped him and denied him but hunter falls forward and it's just enough for the first down, Cooper. And 
Did. Yeah, that the was ticker huge. settles down a little bit yeah, on that he one. He kind of rolled over a defender, which helps, but. Yeah. Man, I think Hunter was even unsure when he yeah. got up. And once again, does a flip over the tackle. Here is a counter play. Thomas Merritt being patient, following the blockers, but there's nothing there. And it's Parker Toon up top. And Toon probably feels like he's got his fingerprints all over this game right now on both sides of the field, and and he's kind of right. Yeah, the run game's been, for the most part, stopped. And at some point, I think Abe is going to have to go to the air. I don't know if it's right now or not, but there, these two-yard carries aren't working. This could really muddy the waters of the district standings if the bears don't turn this around it's a handoff to adams tries to get to the 30 and he is drove back and liberty right now just has more fire and keep in mind without their leading tackler on the season middle linebacker reed toon who was told uh, came down with a case of mono and was ruled out earlier today so th this defense Missing a very big piece and still performing well. And look, they're forcing Ava into a lot of third and mediums and third and longs and another one right here. Back to pass is Lane. He's looking, fires a dart, and there was nowhere to go with it. Rutledge and man-to-man -man coverage ran the route better than Merritt did. Yeah. And now I feel like you've got to punt the football. Ava was able to convert a fourth and one on their own 25, but this is not the ideal situation to roll the dice with fourth and seven. Yeah, and Merritt, like you said, he was playing defense on that throw. He was trying to break up an interception. Bears have two guys here at the bottom. Liberty may be a little confused. Only one guy down here on an island. Now they start drifting Shar out. Adams will run. He'll take a look and kick a very high, booming kick. Nice. And takes an Ava bounce. We needed that. It'll be down to the 10-yard line. Liberty with the lead. 20-12, and that's the final play of the third quarter. We head to the fourth. Bears trailing by eight. For local and long-distance towing, it's Ed's Towing. Now serving Douglas County and the surrounding areas of Cos Country. From big rigs to personal vehicles, cars and trucks, we do it all. Ed's Towing, 24-7 towing service. 417-926-5437. That's 417-926-5437. Call who you know when you need a tow. Ed's Towing, now serving all of Cause Country. For your towing needs, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It's Miller Lawn Service in Ava. They can take care of your commercial and residential needs from mowing your grass to trimming the hedges and more. Our fast, reliable, and experienced team can help your lawn look its best. Call Doug today at 543-2294. That's 543-2294 for Miller Lawn Service. And let us take care of your lawn. Well, the Ava Bears heading to the fourth quarter. The Rogersville day game did not look good. Found a way to make a play late. A pick six from Kel Abraham. The Mountain Grove game. Ava trailed by six midway in the third quarter. Had its moments of doubt. But this right now, the biggest hole of the season so far. But Ava's going to have to try to climb out of and find a way. That's kind of been the theme, right? Last yeah. couple weeks is finding a way. They really got to do some searching here as Liberty with the lead and the football. It is a handoff to Rutledge, Corrigan, and some Bears back there. Churchill as well. So, and Noah Cook coming out of the pile. And that gets Liberty behind yeah, the sticks a little bit. It's a loss of one. Well, and Noah Cook, actually first guy there. Great play. Boy, the senior has been making the most of his opportunities the last game and a half. Yeah, he really has. And 
We need some of that senior leadership or something to step up here. You know, this field position, if we can get a three and out, will really benefit an offense that has struggled a lot of the night. I stick my head out the window. It is a very uneasy yeah. feeling crowd here right now. Back to pass is Reese looking for the crossing pattern. It's caught by Shar. He's going to be just shy of a first down. And Cooper, again, that's that's not a quick three-step drop play. That's one where you got the inside receiver running across the field to the opposite side. And too much time to throw. And these uh, Liberty receivers, uh, they're pretty good at catching the football. Yeah, gain of 11 for Shar puts him over 100 yards receiving. Oh, wow, and they give him the first down. Yeah, that spot was generous, to say the least. So it's first and 10 for the Eagles at their own 20-yard line. Just getting started in the fourth. They have it down eight. And it is a handoff. Oh, and there's all the room in the world to run. Rutledge carrying defenders, and he's tackled at the 40. And right now, Ava on either side of the ball. Is struggling to come up with some answers right now, Coop. Yeah, and that, and there was extra blitz coming right up the middle and all kinds of room for Rutledge. That's a gain of 20. Soon comes down here to the bottom side of the field. Reese looking over to his right for the call. It's got an extra blocker in there. Look at that, an extra lineman basically running fullback. And Liberty's going to try to do what they did in the second half last week against there and run the ball. And, oh, my goodness, the gates are open. Big run. And there's a flag down, and the Bears got to hope it's on Liberty because otherwise it's another huge gain by Rutledge. Holding on the Eagles. That is how many penalties he raced in big plays for the Eagles tonight? That's six or seven penalties in the game. And, yeah, at least two or three were massive penalties. That's a looks like a spot foul. So it was a, a six-yard run initially, and then the penalty happened. So it'll back him up about four yards behind the sticks, I think. Boy, how much did this game change on a kickoff return? right before halftime and then the Eagles scoring with no time on the clock an 18 yard pass play and they've taken that life with them into the second half here Coop. Yeah. Liberty up 20 to 12 945 on the clock it's first and 14 huge penalty goes against the Eagles. They're going deep Toon wide open catches it at the 30 knocked out of bounds at the 24 yard line the Reese to Toon connection there are no answers right now. Gain him 43. Man. Reese with a beautiful ball. Tune just burns us off the line of scrimmage. And Liberty is looking to put the hammer down here. And the Sylvie field has gone quiet on the Ava side. Yeah, and Reese is up to 231 yards passing. Looking, this drive started their own 10-yard line, and now they're at the Ava 21. It'll be a handoff Rutledge, and he's got space. He could go. Abraham brings him down, saves a touchdown, but they're down at the five-yard line. And right now, Liberty is able to commit to the running game a little bit here. They've got a lead. It's in the fourth quarter. And the Bears struggling to get Rutledge down. Yeah, and we're just we're just getting dominated up front, it looks like. I mean, I don't think that's too heavy to put it. Here is a handoff Rutledge, and he's going to go untouched into the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. Second touchdown of the night for Rutledge, and second touchdown here in the Second half. Eight fifty six left. That's about to be the largest deficit of the season. And and Cooper, this is in a situation of missed tackles and such. These running lanes are huge yeah, yeah. right now. 
I know I, that's a hundred percent what I'm seeing too. And untouched is an understatement. Maybe going to have to regroup on defense and then not much time to regroup here. Snap back, handoff to Rutledge again, and he falls into the end zone, and it is good. And all the momentum with the Eagles under nine minutes left. They lead 28-12. Welcome to the bundle event. Entering now our undisputed tag team champions, the midsize SUV and the mid-century modern. Together with a state farm agent, this auto and home duo are a powerful force of savings, service, and customizable coverage. Now, let's get ready to bundle. Call State Farm Agent David Cody with offices in Ava and in Mansfield. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Availability and amount of discounts and savings vary by state. If you're looking for ways to save. Ball and look better time for a sale at Town and Country Supermarket in Ava, Missouri. Boston Bud Pork Steak Country Style Ribs, two forty eight per pound. Family Tackle Lean Ground Chuck, four ninety seven a pound. And Boneless Beef Chuck Roast, five ninety eight a pound. Town and Country Ball and Football, Town and Country Ava, Missouri. We got discounts every day. Carter, two normally wears jersey number three. Rutledge, normally jersey number 44. They may not switch back <laughs> after this night that they are having. And Cooper, we talked about it at the start of this. I wondered emotionally, physically, after the two wars, the back-to-back -back weeks, would we have enough? And right now, we look tired. Catch at the 25, and Jacob Lobb speeds ahead. He stays on his feet, and Lobb with a good kick return. It's Ava across the 50 and tries to reignite the fire here a little bit on the Ava side, but there's a lot of work to be done here. Lob. And I, am I being too critical here, though? We just look physically and mentally a little tired right now. Yeah, no, 100% true, and especially on those last two drives, and specifically the last one. I mean, we were getting gashed on the ground, which we held them to 31 yards in that first half on the ground, and they just dominated on the ground that last drive. And they really committed to it on that drive. Here's a first and 10, going to be a handoff to Adams. We were barely able to get the handoff to him, and Liberty... Just kind of living on our side right now. As they are getting in the backfield. It's a loss of one, making it second down and eleven. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to try something else because that front line for Liberty is playing with some kind of fire right now. Lane under center. It is a pitch play here to the bottom. Thomas Merritt trying to get to the sideline to get the edge and the pursuit from the Eagles. Too much. And, you know, for forget the state ranking stuff, but right now as far as SCA and district standings are concerned, that's what I'm more concerned about. Yeah. And the Bears, they're going to take a hit if they don't figure out a way to turn this around the next eight minutes. Yeah, exactly, and it's third down and 12. Lane back to pass, trying to set up a screen, and Adams couldn't get away and loose, and it's incomplete, and it's now fourth and about 12. I, I think you have to go for it. Well, right now, Liberty's got 28 points on the board. And that is by far the most the Ava defense has given up this year. Whether they run it, whether they throw it, they're moving the ball. And so Ava, yeah, I think you got to go here. Could be the game. Yeah. It looks like we fall started. No call. Lane under pressure, under duress. He's going to try to run for the first down. Stays on his feet, making guys miss, but he just comes up short. 
a couple of yards. Lane trying to make a play there, but Liberty keeps them short of the first down marker. Turnover on downs. This is Shannon Watterson with Show Me Real Estate. We have been blessed to serve this area for their real estate needs for over 20 years. And if you're thinking of buying or selling, stop by our Ava or Mansfield locations Monday through Friday or visit us on the website at show-mehomes.com. Thanks and God bless. Liberty with it, first and 10, in control. And again, the momentum. The Bears taking the lead with 50 seconds left in the second quarter. And a big kick return. And Reese going to work with Toon. They score with no time on the clock. And they have looked like the more inspired team in the second half. And it's... That's not arguable. Poon, direct snap. He'll try to get something. And a good tackle by Adams. Gain of just about a yard. But right now, as if Liberty, not a tough enough opponent, now you got the clock against you too here, Cooper. Yep, yep. Really tough to come back from this. But you figure Liberty's probably going to run again right here. So, and of course, you never know with Liberty, but... The ask the ask Madden fe- feature says run it three <laughs> times. Uh, indeed, uh, Reese back to shotgun, six yards back. He gets the snap. He's going to throw. They can't help themselves, but it's pitch and catch with Tune. Yeah, and we got a late flag that comes in. And who's it going to be on? The referee is pointing at a Liberty Eagle as something perhaps unsportsmanlike. An eligible man downfield. Okay, so one of the linemen maybe thought it was a run. I'll take I tell it. you, as rough as this looks, imagine if Liberty doesn't have about seven or eight penalties go against him tonight. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a big one, too. The Bears, of course, did come in this a little bit banged up on the interior of the line. Guys stepping in, doing the best they can, but there's something about you know, that offensive line with each game, the continuity, the gelling. Kind of difficult to plug and play those spots sometimes. The Ava offense, the second half has been stymied. Here we got a whistle and maybe a pre-snap penalty that's going to go against the Eagles. Clock right now stopped with 622 on it. It was second down and 14. This would make it about second 19. And it is a procedure penalty against the Eagles. And right now, that's the only thing going against them yeah. is the penalties. But uh, they may be able to get some extra time go off, though, with this as well. Yeah. You know, we were talking about the strategy last week with Coach Merrifield trying to do some of that Bill Belichick stuff. But see now, you see the clock. You got to yep. roll. Second 19. So they're going to be able to eat up another 20 seconds of clock here without running a play. They snap it with 10 seconds on the play clock. Big hole for Rutledge. Hutchinson has to chase him down from behind. But that's a 13 yard run there on second 19, Cooper. And that. You just can't allow. Yeah, and you you basically know it's coming as well. Officials time out for water. Bears need more than that right now. 5.59 left, Eagles 28, Ava 12. Hello, this is Josh with the Douglas County Health Department. Our community is working together to restore lives and repair the damage caused by substance use and addiction. We have a network of people who care. They are coordinating resources. Our Community Navigator helps people set goals and connect them to the support they need on their journey to recovery. Find out what you can do. Contact the Douglas County Health Department, and together we can bring healing and support to people on their journey to recovery. Call 417-683-4174. It's Five Girls in a Chainsaw, LLC, your locally owned tree trimming and removal service. Do you have limbs down in your yard from storm damage? Well, we can help. We're fully insured, and there is no job that's too large or small. Give Billy a call at 683-0704-417-683-0704. Five Girls in a Chainsaw, LLC. 
if there is any kind of chance for a comeback, somebody wearing a blue jersey and a yellow helmet's got to find a way to make a play here. Third and eight. Man in motion is Shar. He's going to do a straight quarterback option. I don't think he's ran the ball all night. And he's going to be short of the first down, tackled by Hutchinson. It's at the 44-yard line. And do the Eagles want to go for the throat or play field position? You never know, but I would probably not give Ava a potential short field. Uh, why? Yeah, that would only assist the Bears right now. I would expect Reese to take this down to three or four seconds on the play clock and punt it away. But again, they could also go for the throat here. Yeah. Off the top rope, as they say. High snap. Reese, kind of a wobbly spiral. The bounces to the 20. Hutch picks it up the 13, trying to reverse field. Now cutting it up. Makes a man miss. Flag down, and there's just nowhere to go. He's hurt. Yeah. Eagles look like the faster team and the more aggressive team. I know, I know this sounds harsh, folks, but I, we call it as we see it. You know, normally we're trying to think of, man, we got all these options for hit stick of the game, offense, defensive player, and it's uh, – not been a lot to pick and choose from as far as highlights in this second half right now, Cooper. Yeah, and another penalty um, backs us up even farther, I think, half the distance, somewhere around the eight or nine yard line, maybe. Not sure. 501 on the clock. So, Ava, you know, the flex bone not known for being up tempo, but they're going to have to try to go in a hurry here and. Open up the playbook as much as they can. The last time we tried to go back to pass, the pressure got to Lane so quick, you just had to tuck it and run. Yeah, and this this game's not over. But However, the big playability has not been there tonight for Ava. They back it up to the eight-yard line. Bears have it first and ten. Down by 16. Fake the pitch. Shovel pass to Lobb. Lob, I've not seen that play. He stays on his feet, crosses the 15, down to about the 16. So even when we throw a play at him that I've never seen us run, a fake pitch to Adams up top and then a shovel pass underneath with Lob, they're even kind of there for that. Now, it's a good play of eight yards, but we got to get bigger chunks than that here. Yeah. Lane back to throw. Going to air it up. Looking deep and overthrown as Pitts, the diving man there. And they throw a flag. Wow, we got bailed know, out there. I don't know what it would be. I think they're... Holding on the defense, maybe? So they're going to say defensive holding there. Maybe that's why Pitts was overthrown. That'll be a first down. But we got to have the play ready to roll, ready to go now. Ball at the 26. We're still looking at the wristbands. Let's go, fellas. Here is handoff Hunter Adams. Got to the second level, but not much beyond that. Tackled at the 30. And uh, the four-yard carries. You know, if it was a one-possession game, he right. still got the whole playbook. But we are not in that situation. Nope, we got we to gotta start throwing it. Lane under center. Play action pass. Back to throw. Trying to set up the screen, and it's underthrown. And honestly, Liberty ready for it as well. Corgan was trying to get out and block for him. But nothing there. And I know I've said this a couple times, and I I, I could be wrong, but we just look wore out right now, Cooper. Yeah, and, and like you said, they were ready for that screen. So it stops the clock. So a, a good incompletion right there. 403 left. Adams on the handoff. No, it's the keeper by Lane. He'll pitch it late. Thomas Merritt catches it at the 40, gets to about the 43, and it's a first down. It'll stop the clock momentarily. Again, 
we got to go. You got to find a way, theoretically here, you got to find a way to score in the next minute and a half. You still got all three timeouts. Yeah. You can try to do that. You can maybe have a chance here. Boy, it didn't look like we all got off the ball at the same time. Hand off to Adams up inside. Two-yard run, and that's not going to get the job done. Yeah, and again, I mean, we're talking about one run tonight for Adams for 24 yards. Outside of that, it's in two, three, four yards. Normally, he has multiple runs each night of 20-plus yeah. yards. and. Lane back to throw. Good blitz pickup by Adams down the middle, and it's incomplete. And Lane off target there. Had an opportunity at either Lob or Merritt. And stops the clock with 319. It'll be third down and eight. And Ava just right now out of rhythm, out of sorts offensively. You know, last year we set all those records offensively and everything. And I think uh, the game-breaking speed of a Ryland Dixon certainly kind of shows up. Here is maybe another pitch play, or excuse me, the shovel pass. Fool me once. Yeah. But Rutledge says you won't fool me twice. A big stick. And it's fourth down. And the Bears, down to their final gasp here, as we're under three minutes to play. Yeah, got to kind of rush it, too, unfortunately. Maybe not. Lane looks over. This is too much time. Precious time leading off the clock here. Lane goes under center. Back to pass. Trying to buy time. Throws a crossing pattern. Caught by Merritt. It's a first down. Keeps the game alive for now with two and a half minutes left. The clock will stop as the chains move. But again, we're walking to the line of scrimmage right now. I know we're tired, but we've got to get a little more giddy up here. Yeah. Am I being too harsh? Well, we're getting to the point where it's probably an onside kick and we'll have to recover. Here's back to pass lane. He is chased everywhere. It's partially deflected and knocked down. And the official, they could have an argument for intentional grounding, but I do think the ball may have been deflected there as Lane was running for his life. Then it'll be second down and 10, and they are going to do the intentional grounding, and that is a loss of down. Now, he's getting slung to the ground, his throwing arm. They've got a hold of the jersey. And they're going to call intentional grounding, and that's a tough one. Yep, and probably means the clock's going to run once they start it. So we got to be ready to go. That makes it third and 19. Third and forever. My goodness, yeah, look how far like they marked than, it back. It's like more than 19. That's, um, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 28. We wondered, we had questions. Could the Bears match the intensity of the previous two weeks tonight? Unfortunately, the answer not what we were looking for. Here's a throw and a catch by Pitts. He'll get out of bounds. That'll stop the clock and at least get some of the yardage back. But now fourth down at about 15. The Bears need a miracle here with 2.14 left, trailing 28 to 12. Here is the game. Back to pass lane. He's under pressure, having to try to get rid of it. Ball is loose. Liberty has it. And that's going to do it. Eagles take over. First and ten. Stockman's Bank. Proud past, exciting future. Glad to support local athletics. Check out our new mobile app that can help you do banking wherever you go on your smartphone Stop by our AVA location and let us know how we can assist you with all your banking needs. Stockman's Bank, 
Proud past, exciting future. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. I think there was a lot of people overlooking the Liberty Eagles. I'm not just talking tonight. I'm talking conference as a whole. And, folks, with a quarterback like Reese, a receiver like Toon and Shar, they're going to give everybody fits. Here's a handoff to Rutledge. Bears will close the gap there. No gain on the play. And a timeout, Ava. 203 left, Bears trailing 28-12. Whether it's personal injury, car accidents, criminal defense, and no matter if the case is large or small, Christopher J. Swadish, attorney at law, would be honored to represent you. You can visit with the AVA office, 200 East Washington, or you can call 683-2987, or even visit the website www.swadish.com Sports season means traveling home and away, town to town, ball game to ball game and your one stop shop for all your gasoline, diesel and convenience store needs is Signal whether you need a quick snack, bite to eat or to fuel up, Signal is the place to go. Make sure you have your Signal Rewards card with you and earn rewards for purchases that you are going to make anyway. That's Signal Food Stores Scribner Oil Proud to support local athletics. If you want, give us a scoring update. Farm Bureau Insurance. Mountain Grove beats Willow 37-0. Houston up on Kabul 56-0. That one's all but over. Fair beats Salem 54-0. And the Royals losing 2-0. The news keeps getting worse here. Thune on the carries, tackled by Hutch in the backfield for a loss. And the Bears will take a timeout. We'll take one, two, 157 left. Ava down 16. PC Express of Ava is here to help with your PC repairs and services. We also do BNT loans and FedEx shipping. So stop by 204 Springfield Road here in Ava, Missouri, and take a look at some of our fishing and hunting supplies as well. Stop in or call us today, 417-683-2022. That's 683-2022. And good luck to the Ava Bears. Hi, I'm Katie Luckfield, owner and pharmacist of Ava Rx, your caring hometown pharmacy. As a busy mom, I know how important convenience and fast service is, especially when a loved one is sick. That's why we offer drive through in-town delivery, and we make all those calls you shouldn't have to. And we are always happy to take care of you. Making the changes easy, just give us a call at 683-9550 or come see us behind Subway. Looking forward to taking care of you for many years to come. Let's go, Ava Bears! On a quarterback draw, is going to pick up the first down, and he's going to go for a touchdown. Touchdown. For an exclamation mark for the Liberty Eagles tonight, a run of 54 yards. And the Eagles so far have scored 28 unanswered points in this game. Yep, second half, a nightmare for your Bears. This is going to be ones where it's going to be painful for the coaches to go over the fill. I can tell you that. Again, Ava led with 50 seconds left in the second quarter before halftime. 12 to 6. Keep talking about that kickoff return, but man, without getting the great field position, they probably don't have the time to get them. Rutledge on the handoff. Noah Cook will make the tackle for a loss. And 144 left, Liberty 34, Ava 12. Do you have new construction or remodeling needs? Reed's Construction can take care of you. We're family owned, operated, and insured. You can check us out on Facebook at Reed's Construction LLC. If you have questions about our services or would like an estimate, give us a call at 417-543-2063. Again, that's 417-543-2063. Don't get framed by the competition. Trust our reputation. It's as solid as concrete. Go away for bears. 
For your cleanup projects, large and small, give us a call. At Douglas County Dumpsters LLC, we have options on different sizes that will fit your needs the best, as well as weekly and monthly rentals. Customer service is important to us. We will accommodate to the best of our abilities with whatever project you have. For more information or to get yours reserved, call 417-543-2361. That's 543-2361 for Douglas County Dumpsters, LLC. And we're wishing good luck to our Ava Bears. Liberty Eagles, what a game plan. Tip your hat. Coach Jansen Acklin, Coach Chris Holland. And give the Liberty players credit, too. They have truly earned this one. Here tonight, ball picked up at the 18-yard line. Thomas Merritt has Greengrass in front, makes a cut. He's got the sideline, and Thomas Merritt trying to take it to the house. Has the kicker to beat, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 22-yard line. And that is by far the most open face Thomas Merritt has seen tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it. Here's the good news, though. We have good news? Uh, well, glass half full. Um, you know, Mountain Grove still has to play Liberty. Um, and I think that'll be a really good ball game with how Mountain Grove looked against us. So there's there's some things that can happen, of course, with this head-to-head -head victory. I don't know how much Misha's point system in the district puts on that. It's a question for the doctor. <laughs> yeah, but... We might have to be Grove fans for one night. 133 left. Lane throws up a prayer, and it's out of bounds. And incomplete makes it second down and 10. And let's not forget Houston. Yeah. Uh, and let's not forget a road trip to Dent County on Thursday night, Cooper. Wish we could. We're, uh, we're going to break our curfews. That's going to be long. On, uh, on the weeknight. That was the volleyball game. Last night, that game got over late. No, they Salem had a long drive home as Pitts will catch it and get out of bounds. Short of a first on gain of about six, maybe seven. They had a minute 25 left on the clock. So some soul searching to be done. Over the weekend for the Bears. Here's Lane. Gets hit as he throws. It's intercepted. Lane is down and hurt. And he's tackled at the 18-yard line. And it's just time to get out of here the way this game is unfolding. And Lane, man, has he been under duress a lot, trying to throw the ball from behind. And, you know, running the ball, too, where he had a lot of success on the ground. Took some shots, especially in that third quarter. A lot of things to correct. Yeah, I think fifth turnover of the night for the Bears. One of those, I think, on downs, but night to forget. Reese back in the gun. They look like they are in their version of the victory formation. And they will go under center. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Oh, there we go. And he gets it, steps on a knee. We have a timeout left, but there is zero reason to use that. We still got the impressions for post postgame show. As far as the T-shirts are concerned... May uh, may save them for a week. I'm not sure what to do on that one. On the Liberty sideline now, very fired up on what has transpired, and can't blame them. Two more knees, actually, maybe just one more. We'll do it. And Liberty comes into our house and makes a statement win here in week four. And this is going to be a score that a lot of folks are going to wonder, holy cow, what happened? But folks, just calling it like I see it. Liberty took this one to us in the second half. Final score, Eagles 34, Ava 12. 
Williams Supply Outpost of Ava is a large animal and pet supply store. They have pet food, vaccines, and veterinary supplies, and so much more. Williams Supply Outpost is located at 502 East Washington Avenue in Ava. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Saturdays, 8 a.m. to noon. Phone number for more information, 417-683-2422 for Williams Supply Outpost of Ava. Jim's Body Shop of Ava, your full-service body shop here in Cause Country. Jim's Body Shop will work with all insurance companies to make it easier on you when accidents happen with your automobile. You can reach Jim's at 417-683-4609. Once again, that's 417-683-4609 for Jim's Body Shop in Ava. They are always cheering on the Ava Bears. Missouri Ozarks Community Health is proud to announce that Lacey Shields is now providing behavioral health care at the Gainesville Clinic as a licensed master social worker. At this time, she can accept sliding fee and full pay patients. To schedule an appointment with Lacey Shields, you can call the Gainesville Clinic at 417-679-2775. Hi, it's Aaron and Dan here at Cornerstone Agency encouraging you to vote. No one is going to twist your arm. And you can choose not to, but just like getting health coverage, there could be lasting repercussions. It may take a few minutes to register and a few more to cast your ballot, but checking on health insurance only takes five minutes. Call our office, 417-683-1035, and see if you can get covered today. 417-683-1035. That's 417-683-1035. We're, We're looking, looking out for you. Accounting for, keeping track of. The good descriptions for Paul Wade at Paul Wade and Associates of Ava. Paul Wade and Associates of Ava, your certified public accounting. Great bookkeeping, great accounting, great advice, and a great fan. That's Paul Wade and Associates. Phone number 417 683 2319. That's 417 683 2319. In Ava, Missouri. We're getting started here on our Impressions Floral post game show. And right now, a long walk to the end zone for the Bears as they will uh, try to figure out and process exactly what happened here. We'll do a game recap for you in just a moment. But right now, the tough, bitter pill of defeat. We're all an Ava Bear Nation swallowing right now. 34-12 final score. The name Coke. 